Welcome to the Fantasy Audiobook, Biochemical Madmen in the Marvel Universe. Chapter 41 After reading the data, Elvis' face was serious, and he didn't bother to pay attention to the two of them, and hurried to discuss with the researchers. This is very precious data. With these data, they can make fine-tuning, and the power of the finished product may be a little bit stronger than it is now. Seeing how busy everyone was, Noah was also in a good mood. After all, the system can only play an auxiliary role. These researchers are his most valuable asset, but still have to find a way to get a few more geniuses to come over. Now the company's research strength is still too weak. Afterwards, Noah went to Professor Connor to look at the research on the unsullied giant's gene. At the same time, the research data of its own system is also synchronized. Seeing those updated data, Professor Connor was extremely shocked. Their team has been researching for so long, but the results are not as fast as the boss alone. Even Tony Stark is probably nothing more than that. It's just that the two are not in the same field. Seeing Professor Connor's shocked expression, Noah smiled slightly. Their research is not without results. The research progress of the system has its own calculation module. Although the speed is fast, there are many places that do not overlap with Professor Connor's research. The combination of the two experiments will naturally speed up the progress of the research. This is where Noah thinks he is better than Tony Stark. Tony Stark is great, but he's also full of ego. In his eyes, there is no concept of cooperation with others. And he, Noah Allen, has a good research talent, plus a system and a complete research team. He couldn't even think of it, how could the development be slower than Tony Stark? He always believes that technology is not a game for one person. At the same time, with the end of the war, Tony Stark's attention reached a peak. Although not many people know the details, everyone knows that there is a big battle outside Stark Industries. Someone even recorded footage of the gigantic robot on video. The ambiguous battle situation has aroused the curiosity of countless people. It's Stark Industries there. Is the robot that appears related to Tony Stark? We must know that no similar robot has appeared yet. This is definitely the only one, and considering that Tony Stark is the top talent in the world. It's hard to believe that there is no relationship between the two. Of course, some people notice the few big guys who entered the arena later. However, compared with the advanced battle of robots, the attention is much less. Now most people are wondering if these two robots have anything to do with Stark Industries especially the smaller robot, which has been shown in many places recently. Every time is fighting crime. Countless media wanted to get the first news. Now there are finally signs. Tony Stark did not disappoint them, and immediately held a press conference. The government gave Tony Stark a press release out of stability. I want him to reduce the influence of the incident in this way. However, stand on stage. Tony Stark looked at the press release in his hand, then tore it up, raised his head, and said loudly to the many media in the audience. Yes, I am Iron Man. As soon as this remark came out, the news media went crazy. Even the previous tyrant no longer pays attention. In this world, is there any more exciting news than Tony Stark being Iron Man? Obviously not. Under the stage, Rhodes' face was ashen. The madman. He cursed inwardly. But there is no way. Tony has already admitted that he can only hold his nose and think about how to solve the follow-up problems. Noah has been busy in the laboratory for several days. Caroline came to him and said that the military was here. Seeing this, Noah got out of the laboratory. After tidying up his image, he met with the military. The meeting this time was agreed long ago. The last time Tony Stark was saved, the military said it would increase the order. This time, it was here to discuss additional purchase orders. This time, it was Lieutenant General Reynolds who came again. In addition, he also saw a one-eyed marinated egg. The moment he saw this person, Noah knew that this guy was Nick Fury. S.H.I.E.L.D. also wants to buy more. Or for, the tyrant. Coulson was at the scene at the time, and the S.H.I.E.L.D. Bureau definitely knew about the tyrant. The thought flashed away, on the surface, Noah said hello. Lieutenant General Reynolds, long time no see. Lieutenant General Reynolds also smiled and said, Haven't seen you for a long time. The effect of Umbrella's fighting wolf is really good. After combined training, 
we believe that this kind of biological weapon is likely to become one of the important configurations of the army in the future. Quote, Reynolds first praised Fighting Wolf for a while. As for what's in my heart, I don't know. Noah smiled and said. Hopefully, Umbrella has always been committed to promoting peace and prosperity in the world. We believe that the emergence of this biological weapon will definitely play a big role. Quote. Reynolds also laughed, and then continued. In view of the excellent performance of the Fighting Wolf, we plan to purchase 2,500 to expand the team's capabilities of the army. Noah's eyes lit up. 2,500 is a big deal. Calculated at 170,000, it means that he can get 425 million. Seeing No's expression, Lieutenant General Reynolds and Nick Fury on the side showed a subtle smile. Mr. Allen, we have a lot of additional orders this time, so I think the last price should be compromised. Reynolds smiled. When Noah heard it, his expression suddenly showed some bitterness. Lieutenant General, it's not that I don't want to give up the benefits, but I really can't. For a product like Fighting Wolf, the cost of research funding and the product itself is very high. Originally, 170,000 US dollars was not a lot of money. If we lowered it further, we really didn't make any money. Quote. Listening to No's cry, the faces of the two remained unchanged. They know a lot about these businessmen. No profit. How can it be? It is nothing more than a question of earning more or less. However, when they came here today, this order was just a side effect. Lieutenant General Reynolds said, Mr. Allen, the performance of Fighting Wolf is really good, but we don't have other substitutes. I don't believe that 170,000 is your minimum price. Well, it's not impossible, we can even buy it at the original price of 180,000. But, No's eyes brightened slightly, please say. Lieutenant General Reynolds glanced at Nick Fury before speaking. I have information showing that during the Iron Man battle a few days ago, Umbrella took out a special biological weapon. I want to know, what is the price of this weapon? Quote. Sure enough, he was inquiring about the tyrant. Noah had expected this a long time ago, but there was still a hint of embarrassment on his face at the right time. Lieutenant General Reynolds, it's not that I don't want to sell, it's just that this kind of tyrant is still in the laboratory stage. Conditions for sale were not met. Quote, sure enough there is. Lieutenant General Reynolds was determined. When he heard what Nick Fury said before, he was a little worried about whether it was true. That is to say, there is a video to prove it, otherwise, he would not agree to Nick Fury's request and bring him here with him. To put it bluntly, Nick Fury came here just to take advantage of their military. With the help of a large order placed by the military on Fighting Wolf, the right to purchase the tyrant was obtained. Information about the tyrant is actually not difficult to find. For an organization like S.H.I.E.L.D., in-depth intelligence might not be easy to get. But if you have the heart, superficial information is still easy to get. At least this tyrant plan has long been in S.H.I.E.L.D.'s intelligence. Even the last time the Irish gangster was destroyed, Nick Fury actually had speculation. But that time, it was just some scattered information. There is no direct evidence of the existence of the tyrant. It was not until the Iron Man incident that this information was confirmed. Three tyrants can easily take down the Iron Overlord. Isn't this kind of combat power the final product of the tyrant's plan? Nick Fury was a little shocked. Mr. Allen, since the tyrant has passed the actual combat test, it must have met the basic requirements of your company. Noah looked at the big bald head, and then said. That's true, but the current trial model of the tyrant is not for sale, but for testing. Not to mention the high cost, the performance did not meet my requirements. Normally, it cannot be sold as a product. Quote, when the two heard No's words, they were also a little shocked. The prototype is like this, and I don't know how powerful the real, tyrant, is. Lieutenant General Reynolds said directly. If it is a finished product, how long will it take? Noah shook his head and said. It's hard to say, the main difficulty at present lies in cost reduction. Maybe there will be a breakthrough tomorrow, maybe it will take a year or two. Quote. Hearing this, Lt. Gen. Reynolds gave up directly. Such ambiguous words do not make any sense. Make an offer. He wants the tyrant. Nick Fury on the side had a desire to complain. The military family has a big business, so they are really not short of money. 
Unlike their shield, although there is a lot of funds, there are even more places that need to be used. You have to hold back everything you do. At least he felt that if Lieutenant General Reynolds said this, he was waiting to be slaughtered like a fat sheep. Among the enemy's shield needs to deal with, armed forces with guns are the lowest. In other words, for tyrants, their shield needs more than the military. Noah smiled slightly and said, if the military must buy it, it should be 58 million. 58 million, even General Reynolds couldn't help but frown. Too expensive. Nick Fury almost jumped up. He thought 10 million would be the top. No's face remained unchanged, and he said, since you two saw the situation that night, you must have a preliminary understanding of the tyrant's combat power. What do you think, how is the tank in front of the tyrant? Quote. The two frowned. There was no doubt about the tank's defense and attack power, but compared to the tyrant, the tank was clumsy enough to describe it. Maybe the tyrant can't beat the tank, but the tank can't beat the tyrant. Over there, Noah explained directly. I want to say that even if it's just a trial model, the performance of the tyrant will absolutely crush any active main battle tank. The equipment carried by the tyrant can be configured by humans. As long as the right weapons are equipped, it is very easy to take down a tank and the tyrant and fighting wolf have the same advantages. Quote. Immortality. Lieutenant General Reynolds moved in his heart and said it. That's right, but compared to the fighting wolf, the tyrant not only has fewer weaknesses, but also has a strong recovery ability. No matter how serious the injury is, it can recover quickly. 58 million, it seems that the price is not low, but in fact, at this price, we have no profit at all. Quote. The two looked at each other. They don't have this information. Although Coulson was at the scene, he couldn't observe so carefully. The next moment, Noah said another sentence, which completely moved the two of them. If I buy more than 10 units at one time, I can make a price of 50 million units. Quote. Good. Lieutenant General Reynolds nodded in agreement. One set is 50 million, and 10 sets are only 500 million. It sounds like a lot, but to the military, it is nothing at all. But the military family has a big business, but S.H.I.E.L.D. is not that rich. Nick Fury narrowed his eyes and said, The tyrant's performance is indeed good, but have you forgotten the steel armor of Stark Industries? In my opinion, those steel armors have a wider trial range than the tyrant. Perhaps, we should consider going to Stark Industries to discuss with Tony Stark. Quote. When Noah heard it, he immediately said with a smile. Not to mention that the current tyrant is still a trial model, Let's talk about the steel armor, will Tony Stark sell it? That thing should be considered a weapon. Tony Stark just said not long ago that he will stop the weapons department. Also, I bet that the selling price of that thing will not be less than 100 million. Quote. Nick Fury's face remained unchanged. 40 million units, this is my highest offer. 52 million units, No's expression did not change. Nick Fury's face darkened, and the price actually increased, gritted his teeth and said. Good. 52 million, I want 10. Quote. Of course he went to Tony Stark. Just like Noah Allen said, Tony Stark was bitten to death and had no intention of selling at all, let alone making an offer. Lieutenant General Reynolds also laughed. Mr. Allen, for 50 million, give me 20 units. Certainly. Noah nodded very readily. This made Lieutenant General Reynolds glance at Nick Fury with some complacency. Lieutenant General Reynolds was proud, but Noah was the real winner. The cost of the tyrant is only a few million. No matter how you look at it, it is a big profit. Sure enough, arms are the real profiteering. In just a few minutes, he made a big deal of more than 1.5 billion. This is the trial model. After a while, the mass production model will come out. Compared with the current trial model, the mass-produced model will have stronger basic performance and equipped equipment. Do you want to buy it? Special enhanced models such as the Chaser appear. Do you want to change? The current trial model is just the beginning, and the follow-up will be the time to make a lot of money. From this point of view, the wolf fighting business that made him ecstatic just now is nothing. Things like fighting wolf are destined to be only low-end products. Can't make big money. When Noah was making money, there was a military base somewhere. A large number of elites assembled. Behind Jing Jing, there were dozens of fighting wolves sitting quietly on the ground. 
General Ross was emotional. Finally let him find the trace of Bruce Banner again. He roared. Go Gauhua University, let's go. This time, he was confident. There were not only soldiers like Bronsky who had been injected with super soldier serum, but also the fighting wolf he had specially transferred. The fighting ability of these fighting wolves has already been demonstrated in actual combat in the past. This time, he will definitely capture Bruce Banner back. In his heart, only creatures like the Hulk are truly perfect and the strongest weapons. At this time, Bruce Banner had no idea that General Ross had found him again. Gauhua University Bruce Banner is looking for information on gamma rays. Aside, Betty Ross is also helping. Suddenly there was a commotion outside. The faces of the two changed slightly, and Bruce Banner hurried to the window and looked towards the commotion. In an instant, his face changed drastically. Your father is here, I have to go. When Betty Ross heard it, her face was not very good looking, and without hesitation, she said directly. I'm with you too. The two looked at each other and ran out together. Outside, after getting off the car, General Ross looked grim. Find me someone. With an order, dozens of fighting wolves accepted the order and quickly scattered around. General Ross looked expectant in his eyes. But ten seconds later, a deep roar sounded. It was the feedback from one of the fighting wolves. At the same time, a person staring at the camera of fighting wolf reported loudly. General, we found it. General Ross's eyes flashed. With a wave of his hand, dozens of well-equipped fighters immediately followed the order to attack. Upstairs, when Bruce Banner saw the fighting wolf, he felt uneasy, but he didn't take it seriously at first. But when fighting wolf approached, he knew he was in trouble. A fighting wolf rushed towards the two of them. With its huge mouth and sharp teeth, it is extremely dangerous at first sight. Under this kind of stimulation, the Hulk Hulk was directly forced out. As soon as Hulk appeared, there was a roar. The terrifying roar could be heard clearly throughout Gauhua University. When General Ross heard this voice, not only was he not afraid, but he even smiled coldly. With fighting wolf around, you still want to run. Then, he looked at a soldier beside him. This soldier is full of muscles, and there is only a strong fighting spirit in his eyes, without the slightest fear. Bronsky, go, bring me the Hulk back. Quote, yes, General. Bronsky rushed out excitedly. The explosive power at that moment far exceeded the limit of ordinary people. Bronsky is very confident that he is a super soldier who has been injected with super soldier serum. Hulk, he never felt that he was weaker than the other party. Roar, after transforming into the Hulk, Hulk was so violent that he slapped the fighting wolf who found him against the wall with one slap. Then he jumped up and jumped onto the lawn. There, he saw the person who troubled him again and again, he was not Bruce Banner, he just wanted to kill General Ross now. But seeing Hulk jumping down, General Ross's expression remained unchanged. Attack, with an order, all kinds of light and heavy weapons began to pour firepower. Although Hulk's defense is extremely strong, he was also in pain from being beaten. Hulk became more and more angry. And anger is the source of Hulk's strength. In theory, this anger has no upper limit. Roar. With a roar, a terrifying sound wave came out. A few soldiers who were too far ahead even had their eardrums bleed from the roar. Boom. The Hulk jerked and landed directly on top of a tank that had just given him a shot. Facing the tank with thick armor, Hulk smashed it angrily. Boom. 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 Under Hulk's frantic smashing, even the tank was easily smashed and deformed. Until then, there was no change on General Ross's face. At the same time, Bronsky has rushed up. With a bazooka on his shoulder, his face was cold, and then a rocket was fired. Boom, this blow failed to hurt Hulk, but it caught his attention perfectly. Let the fighting wolf go up too. General Ross said that he needed to delay time. Soon, all the fighting wolves who had gathered earlier rushed towards Hulk. The powerful bite force, biting Hulk's body, could only make Hulk scream in pain. But it is not easy for Hulk to throw the fighting wolf down. These fighting wolves have no fear, tirelessness, and tenacious vitality. It directly became a pendant. Even those who were thrown down occasionally got up quickly and rushed up again. Bronsky also took the opportunity to attack. It's a pity that just as he went up, he was thrown out by the angry Hulk again. If it wasn't for the restraint of the fighting wolf, 
I'm afraid he would have been chased and beaten to death by the angry Hulk. Seeing this scene, General Ross was furious, also more excited. The more perfect the Hulk is, the more he is worth. At the same time, the performance of Fighting Wolf also far exceeded his expectations. Quite a few fighting wolves with half of their bodies turned into rotting wolves were still trying to crawl over desperately. Betty Ross wanted to rush forward to stop her father. It's a pity that he was taken away by soldiers directly. Seeing this scene, Hulk became more and more angry. Betty Ross is a taboo for Bruce Banner, but also a taboo for Hulk. Boom, terrifying power erupted from the body. All the fighting wolves on his body were thrown away. Then Hulk rushed directly towards Betty. But at this moment, a sneer appeared on the corner of General Ross's mouth. His secret weapon is ready. The next moment, several special vehicles suddenly emitted sound waves. Hulk's physical shells can't penetrate, so this time, he chose to attack directly with sound waves. As for the effect, it is also exceptionally good. Hulk screamed, unable to resist this sonic attack at all. In the end, Hulk gave Betty a nostalgic look, and chose to escape. Noah naturally didn't know what happened to Bruce Banner. But only based on his understanding of the plot. Even if he knew, what he wanted most was probably to get Dr. Banner's blood. The power of this infinite anger must be of high value. It's a pity that it is not easy to make Hulk bleed. It's hard to guarantee the effect of just relying on the blood in human form. After so long, No's parents finally came back. Although they were surprised that their son was already the boss of the two companies, after knowing that their ancestral home for several generations had been destroyed, the two of them still turned pale. Almost didn't peel off No's skin. Noah was strong outside, but facing his parents, he didn't even dare to hide. After all, this incident was indeed his own fault. After being beaten, the two didn't say anything. The old does not go and the new does not come. There is nothing wrong with living in a new big house. It's a pity that the memories of the past can't be brought back. After solving the troubles at home, Noah instantly relaxed a lot. Although the agreement was only signed, the big business of 1.5 billion gave him the ability to plan for the future. The base in the suburbs has already started. In his eyes, other various items that cost money or nothing. This feeling of spending money like running water made him thoroughly experience the happiness of a local tyrant. After a period of happy days, Noah finally got the news. Stark Industries will hold a general meeting of shareholders. After hearing the news, although Noah could send someone to attend the meeting instead of him, he put down his research and decided to go there in person without much thought. Instead of boring research, isn't Tony Stark upset to see his ugly face when he is also a shareholder? Also, it's time to implement the rewards you deserve. In the morning, Tony Stark was in a good mood. Although there have been a lot of troubles recently, he once again brought his life back to normal by virtue of his super IQ. But now without Obadiah, he can only come to the meeting by himself. Otherwise, he wouldn't even bother to come to such a boring shareholders meeting. As soon as he entered the meeting room, his face changed slightly. Noah Allen, why did you appear here, this is an internal meeting of Stark Industries. Noah was talking with someone next to him, and when he heard Tony Stark's voice, he turned his head and saw the stinky face, and the expression on his face suddenly smiled. Hey, didn't I tell you? I am also a shareholder of Stark Industries, and I still hold a lot of shares. Quote. When Tony Stark heard this, his face darkened even more. You fool, haven't you already sold all the shares of Stark Industries? No's face remained unchanged, and he even said with a bit of seriousness. I have always had enough faith in you. As long as you're alive, Stark Industries won't lose money. So, after I sold the stock last time, I heard that Stark Industries stock was down again, and I bought it back. Having said that, I must thank you. After all, from now on, every research you invent will have a part of my profit. Quote. Tony Stark's face was so dark it couldn't be darker. But Noah did not let him go, and continued. I saved you twice, but you haven't told me so far, how are you going to thank me? Tony Stark gritted his teeth and said, Don't worry, I will give you a satisfactory answer today. Noah nodded with a smile. That's good, I think your life is still very valuable. I hope you agree with this point of view. It will not let you down. After speaking, 
Tony Stark sat directly in his seat. He doesn't want to stay here any longer. Seeing Tony Stark deflated, No's mood rose again. The irritability caused by immersing oneself in research in recent days has also been swept away. Eating, sleeping, playing, cough, teasing Tony is also a pleasure. Meetings are boring. After two hours, Tony Stark felt drowsy, and so did Noah. This kind of wrangling meeting is simply a kind of torture for geniuses like them. Fortunately, the ordeal is finally over. Seeing the meeting ended, both of them unconsciously breathed a sigh of relief. Tony Stark walked over, the expression on his face softened a bit, presumably he had calmed down from the excitement. For the sake of doing me a little favor, let's go to my laboratory. After finishing speaking, he turned around and left, Noah didn't care, just walked and watched. It has to be said that Stark Industries, in terms of sense of technology, is not a little bit more advanced than his umbrella. Compared with their own equipment that is outdated at first glance, the equipment of Stark Industries is obviously high-end. Fortunately, their own equipment is about to be replaced. While walking, Noah asked. Seriously, don't you think about selling the large arc reactor downstairs? I dare say that if we sell that, the stock price of our company will rise a lot tomorrow. Quote. Tony Stark, who was walking in front of him, was extremely upset when he heard No's address, which he didn't care about at all. But still said, the technology I develop, I call the shots. That, will never be included in the regular sale of goods. Quote. Noah was not surprised to hear Tony Stark's answer. The large arc reactor has great value in the energy industry. But Tony Stark always controls the terminal. The most is to share some energy to get some benefits. This kind of arc reactor is really terrible. Energy beyond the times, while promoting the development of the world, may also bring some unforeseen crises to the world. This era may not be ready for it. However, he estimated that it wasn't that the item was not for sale, it was just the same as what Tony Stark said. It will never be included in the regular sales scope. There will always be some special buyers. Can I install this for my business? Noah stated his purpose. Hearing this, Tony Stark frowned. Noah continued, as you know, I have two companies under my umbrella. Although the requirements for energy are not as large as those of Stark Industries, energy is also one of the main factors that limit the development of my company. In the future, I also plan to build a research base in the suburbs. Without good energy, it is too inconvenient. Quote. After a moment of hesitation, Tony Stark nodded. All right. It wasn't a big deal to him. He is really not afraid of the arc reactor technology being cracked. In fact, much of the basic information about the reactor is publicly available. And at a deeper level, if it can be imitated just by looking at the prototype of the reactor, then this arc reactor cannot be called a cross-age technology. A smile appeared on No's face. Half of my goal has been achieved. The two quickly walked to the laboratory. As a man who likes research, Tony Stark's laboratory is actually his residence, located on the edge of Stark's industry. After entering, Noah immediately felt what high-tech life is. Compared with it, my own life is the same as that of primitive people. The black technology in this world sometimes really makes people feel unreal. Tony Stark poured Noah a cup of coffee, and said. Promise your arc reactor, I will arrange it as soon as possible, is there anything else you want? There is nothing in this world that I, Tony Stark, cannot do. Quote. He he. Looking at the pretending and addicted Tony Stark, Noah really wanted to pour the coffee in the cup down his face. But after thinking about it, he still gave up this tempting idea. What do you think I'm missing? Although your talent in mechanics is very strong, I'm not bragging. I may not be worse than you in the field of biological research. What do you think moves me? Or, what do you think is worth your two lives? If you must talk about transactions, then you can talk about it. I will sit here and listen to your answers at any time. Quote. With that said, Noah drank the coffee calmly. Tony Stark is so arrogant. Perhaps as time goes by, his arrogance will gradually be hidden in his bones after he becomes Iron Man. But at least for now, he is definitely an arrogant guy. Even if I helped him twice, I couldn't make him show a good face. But the best thing about Tony Stark is that he is smart enough. Thinking of No's words, his face changed back and forth. Indeed, 
logically speaking, Noah has nothing to ask him urgently. Even the previous arc reactor was just a small gift to him. His life is not so cheap. What the hell does Noah Allen mean? After a moment, Tony Stark stood up reluctantly. You win. Maybe we can be friends. Friends are an extremely extravagant thing in his dictionary. Rhodes counts as one, the others. Well, he couldn't figure it out. But there is no doubt that friends are more troublesome than business. No's mouth hooked, this was exactly his purpose. Most people can't get Tony Stark's armor, but why can Rhodes become a war machine? And not because he's a friend of Tony Stark's. So here comes the problem. We are friends, are you embarrassed not to give artificial intelligence? We are friends, so it is not too much to lend you a suit of armor. We are, in short, there are many benefits. Trade. That's the worst way. The corners of No's mouth curled up slightly, and he looked at Tony Stark with a pair of eyes smiling. Ha, huh, what did you say? I don't seem to have heard it. Quote. Tony Stark glanced at his mouth. You didn't hear that, you're not deaf. He didn't answer No's question at all. Instead, he sat directly on the sofa, and his movements were more casual than before. Noah saw it in his eyes and shook his head secretly. This Tony Stark is still a little different from what I imagined. But this is normal, what he knows about Tony Stark is just some movies from his previous life. How can it be possible to show all of a person in several works? Now Tony Stark is a living human being. Just like the Punisher. In his impression, Frank definitely belongs to the image of a cold and tough guy. But after actually getting in touch with him for a while, he discovered that although Frank always looks cool, in fact, when he mentions his fiancée, there will always be a touch of tenderness in his eyes. This also made him truly realize that this world is not a movie, let alone a game. Everyone here is alive, they have flesh and blood, and they have their own thoughts, which are not as simple as shown in the movies. Seeing that Tony Stark's expression began to relax, Noah was a little helpless. Maybe this is how Tony Stark treats his friends. But. This so-called friend is actually a trade. Noah is very self-aware of this. Tony Stark didn't want to be friends with himself at all. Because, the reason why I want to be friends with Tony Stark is just to use this relationship to gain my own interests. But in fact, he didn't know what Tony Stark was thinking. For Tony Stark, Noah literally saved himself twice. Not to mention the first time, when Obadiah attacked, Noah could appear there for no reason. Obviously Noah discovered something, so he made some preparations in advance. Even though he is proud, in his heart, Noah is already his friend. It's just that his face doesn't allow him to admit defeat. Today, it just gave him a step. That's why he simply admit defeat. Otherwise, do you really think that Tony Stark's poisonous tongue and arrogance are fake? Noah naturally didn't know the changes deep in Tony Stark's heart. Neither of them were good talkers. After talking for three minutes, Noah has already said. It's a powerful artificial intelligence, but it's a pity that my company doesn't have it. As a friend, um, I think you are obliged to give me the company's information and an insurance policy. Quote. Although it is not stated clearly, it is almost the same as that stated. With Tony Stark's IQ, he naturally understood what he meant in an instant. But this time, he didn't simply agree. Jarvis' program is the crystallization of his highest wisdom. As for the arc reactor, although the whole world envies it, it is nothing to him. Noah didn't expect Tony Stark to let go so easily, so he immediately stated his conditions. For this, I am willing to pay 100 million US dollars. At the same time, I can also help you solve your chest problem. For the core program of Jarvis, Noah showed his cards. 100 million dollars is nothing in this transaction. The way to save Tony Stark is the most important. Although he had such a whole card, he actually didn't want to show it at all, because he couldn't explain the source of the information. I can't say that I found it from S.H.I.E.L.D. In fact, he doesn't think S.H.I.E.L.D. has any relevant intelligence. Compared to the computer, he would rather believe that all this is stored in Nick Fury's mind. If he said it now, there might be troubles in the future. It's just that good artificial intelligence is too important. Sure enough, Tony Stark's eyes lit up. Although the miniature reactor in his chest saved him, it also caused him to be poisoned by palladium. This toxin is slowly eroding his life. 
For him, nothing is more important than the technology that can save his life. However, he still couldn't help but venomously said. Based on my wisdom, there is no solution. What can you do? Maybe you want to open a hole in my heart. If this is the case, I would have done it a long time ago, so there is no need to wait until now. Quote. In fact, there has always been a solution, but the risk of surgery is too great, so he would rather choose this way of slow death. At least in this way, he can give himself the future technological development he hopes, instead of a doctor on the operating table. Noah looked at Tony Stark, who was mocking, and was not angry. With the idea of showing sincerity, he opened the mouth and said. Don't worry, you don't trust those doctors, and neither do I. In fact, the solution is in your hands. I learned a piece of news through a special channel. Your father left you some inheritance back then, which may contain the technology to solve your current predicament. Quote. My father, Tony Stark froze for a moment. It was an answer he hadn't thought of at all. Ignoring Tony Stark's reaction, Noah continued. I don't know exactly where it is, but I believe you should be able to find it. By the way, S.H.I.E.L.D. should have known about this news long ago. S.H.I.E.L.D. should be regarded as an organization created by your father. S.H.I.E.L.D. probably knows more about your father than you. Quote. After finishing speaking, Noah quietly looked at Tony Stark's expression. The reason why I said the last sentence is to add obstacles to S.H.I.E.L.D. He doesn't like the organization. It's called S.H.I.E.L.D., but it's actually the HYDRA headquarters. Nick Fury's personal behavior style makes him feel disgusted from the bottom of his heart. Tony Stark's expression changed several times. He knew the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization, and it was very mysterious. But he had never heard of the news that his father participated in the creation of S.H.I.E.L.D. After the war some time ago, people from S.H.I.E.L.D. came to look for it several times. But at that time, the other party did not bring any solution to the problem of palladium poisoning. Noah Allen was lying to him. Or, S.H.I.E.L.D. wants to use this as a bargaining chip to do something. Everyone is smart, so Noah just said a few words. He believes that Tony Stark can think of the key, and he definitely doesn't like Nick Fury's approach. At this time, Noah was very curious, can the Avengers still be built? As for subsequent changes, he is not worried. If there is no Avengers, it does not mean that there are no other alliances. Tony Stark, born to be a superhero. What's more, after he came to this world, the so-called plot should not be counted on long ago. After telling the matter, Noah didn't stay for long. As for Tony Stark not agreeing to the deal, he is not worried. After he verified the reliability of his statement, he would naturally continue to complete the transaction. For now, let Tony Stark deal with his own problems first. As for Noah himself, he left Stark Industries by car. Frank drove, then said, Boss, I may have to take a few days off recently. Noah naturally nodded in agreement. Well, do you need my help? No, it's just a little thing. A cold light flashed in Frank's eyes, yes, it was just a small matter. When you leave, just tell me. If you need help, contact me at any time. Frank was about to reply when he suddenly noticed a large truck rushing straight towards him. Regardless of talking, Frank turned the steering wheel sharply, and Noah was also shocked by this sudden change, and his face changed instantly. Then various thoughts flashed through my mind. Accident, or premeditated. At this moment, he caught a glimpse of a man with a mask on the driver's seat of the large truck. Under the invisible mask, there seemed to be a proud and unscrupulous face. No's eyes turned cold. He looked very familiar with this red mask. It's just that he didn't expect that he would actually see this guy. Get out of the way. Noah shouted violently. Frank didn't speak, he was already doing it. With his superhuman reaction speed, the tires turned sharply, and smoke came out from the friction. With a bang, the head of the truck collided with their rear. Received this impact, the car almost lost control. Fortunately, Frank was calm enough and soon regained his stability. Then, they saw an astonishing scene. The truck, without brakes, just crashed into a shop on the side of the road. Frank's pupils shrank. Boss, this is a dead man. Noah said solemnly, yes, this is Deadpool. Frank didn't notice the difference at all, but said, I will investigate this matter immediately after I go back. That guy was wearing a mask, 
so he couldn't see his face, but as long as he appeared, he would definitely leave traces. Quote. Noah said, Frank, get your weapons ready. What? Frank was a little surprised. In that kind of collision, no one can survive. The man was dead. Is there an ambush around? As soon as this thought flashed across him, he directly denied it. This is not Hell's Kitchen, it is impossible for the opponent to use gunmen in this position. Before he could figure it out, the scene that appeared later made him understand what the boss meant. I saw a person climbing out of the flattened front of the truck. The man was wearing an ugly red tights and a somewhat weird mask, completely devoid of any sense of beauty. At this time, the man was cursing and pulling out a shard of glass stuck in his arm. Afterwards, it was almost visible to the naked eye, the arm that was still bleeding just now stopped bleeding, and it was not even obvious that he had been injured before. This monster has such a strong healing ability. Frank looked serious. Noah didn't speak either, his face was uncertain. He never expected that Deadpool would appear here. Who found this guy who recognizes money but not people? Then he realized that things were troublesome. He can leave, but he can't. Because he couldn't be sure that he would be so lucky to escape next time. So he must solve this big trouble now. That's right, big trouble. Even an underworld emperor like Jin Bing is just a small trouble in his eyes now. But in his eyes, Deadpool is definitely a big trouble. Because Kim doesn't have to play by the rules, and he's not immortal. As long as Noah is willing, it is impossible for Jin to survive with multiple tyrants dispatched. But Deadpool doesn't care about that. He wasn't even sure if his means could kill this guy who could recover from being turned into a piece of meat. Frank, get him. Be careful, this guy is immortal. Quote. Frank nodded solemnly, feeling a little tricky, but he didn't think it was impossible. Not dying and not getting hurt are two concepts. At the same time, Noah was also thinking that this guy's genes should be pretty good. Maybe it can bring some inspiration to his research. Over there, Deadpool drew the knife on his back. Hey, why don't you leave? You might have a chance to leave just now. If you stay, are you staring at my chrysanthemum? With that said, Deadpool covered his butt exaggeratedly. No's face darkened. This guy, maybe he's the only one in the world with a more poisonous tongue than Tony Stark. Tony Stark is taunting people with his wit, and Deadpool, just with his snotty mouth, makes everyone who knows him want to kill him. For example, now, Frank's eyes have shown anger. Frank drew the pistol from his belt and began to shoot. Deadpool cooperated in dodging movements. His arms, thighs and even his waist twisted extremely hard, as if he could really escape. But in fact, looking at the gun holes that appeared on Deadpool, the two showed the same expression. This idiot, apart from this word, they could no longer imagine any descriptive words. But apart from complaining, Deadpool didn't seem to feel the slightest bit, which directly stimulated Frank. He thought that immortality was just an exaggeration, but now it seems that it might be true. Fortunately, the bullet has no effect on Deadpool, at least until his injury heals, it does hinder his movement. When the two were fighting, Noah was not idle. He looked at the cameras around him, then avoided the cameras, and a large number of corpse worms were created by him. The healing ability has reached the level of immortality, but a person's energy should be limited. He didn't believe that Deadpool could still have nothing to fear under the engulfment of 10,000 insects. With this confidence, he was thinking about how to get information about the enemy from Deadpool. On the other side, Deadpool is still entangled with Frank. It's just obvious that Deadpool's immortality has caused Frank a lot of trouble. The most important thing is that he managed to irritate Frank with that cheap mouth. Noah watched and shook his head again and again. Sure enough, when it comes to talk, Deadpool is the top. Then he said loudly, I'll give you 10 million, as long as you tell me who sent you here. You should know that I am actually very rich. Quote, after saying this, Noah obviously saw Deadpool's body pause. But soon, Deadpool opened his mouth and began to mock. Hey, you are my target. If you use the 10 million yuan to buy my chrysanthemum, I may still consider it, but if you want to buy my employer's information, are you doubting my professional ethics? As soon as he finished speaking, he immediately cursed again. You fool, you really touched my heart. No, you have to add another one, and I have to pay back the money my employer gave me, or my good name will be like my chrysanthemum. Quote. Saying that, 
Deadpool directly covered his mouth and looked around with some guilt. No's mouth twitched when he heard that, you have a fart professional ethics. But he didn't intend to end it like this. The corpse worms have blocked the surrounding cameras, so he can be more unscrupulous. So, the corner of No's mouth hooked. Sorry, the price has been reduced now. My new offer is 8 million. Quote, as he spoke, countless black bugs suddenly flew out from behind Noah. The Kuroshio is coming again. Seeing so many bugs flying out, Frank was extremely surprised, while Deadpool froze. The scene seemed to be a bit beyond his expectation. What the hell is this bug? Based on the principle of using his body to test if there is a problem, he decisively rushed into the swarm. Next moment, boo, hearing Deadpool's voice, Noah was a little uncertain for a moment, whether he was in pain or happy. But no matter what, No's face was cold at this time. At this point he had only one thought. Find the enemy and, kill him. According to Noah and Frank's thinking, no one can hold back the bite of countless terrifying swarms. In fact, Deadpool's performance is indeed the same. But soon, the expressions of the two of them changed. Although Deadpool still yelled fiercely, was it really because the pain was unbearable? No's face was calm. My heart has already begun to feel helpless. The reason this guy gained immortality seems to be related to torture. Coupled with the fact that he didn't know how many injuries he had suffered, perhaps, he was really not afraid of pain. Facing such a person who is not afraid of death or pain. He had to admit that he didn't know what to do with Deadpool. With a flash in his eyes, Noah said, Wade, I think you should think about it, 10 million is already a lot. Even if you don't need money much, do you have no parents, or a girlfriend? Quote. When Noah spoke, his tone was very peaceful. This kind of persuasive talk even made Wade in the swarm silent for a while. No's words revealed two meanings. The first point is that he knows the identity of the other party, and the second point is that you should consider it for your family. This sentence reminded Wade of Vanessa. It was his only true love. He hasn't been in touch with Vanessa for a long time, but that doesn't mean he doesn't love her. Although countless bugs were biting his body, Wade didn't care at all. He was just thinking about that 10 million. Even the entrustment he accepted this time was only a few hundred thousand. As for the principle of protecting employers, sorry, he never has. He has only one principle, and that is to look at the mood. In other words, just give money. It was the first time someone offered such a high price of 10 million. Okay, but you gotta make these cuties stop. As soon as the words fell, the overwhelming corpse-eating insects had already flown away and then got into the sewer. Looking at the Deadpool in front of them, both of them couldn't help shivering. Being bitten by corpse worms, the dead waiter in front of him has long since lost his human appearance. But when he spoke just now, he couldn't hear anything strange in his tone. Ten million is a good number for Noah. Not a lot, but not a lot. The point is, he not only wants to exchange information from Wade, but also covets him himself. If you want to do well in a world like Marvel, you can't do without recruiting more people. Otherwise, his research results are simply someone else's backyard. Now there is only one Punisher, but it is far from reassuring him. He is even thinking about how to strengthen Frank with the help of the T-Virus. If he succeeds, his company's security will be stronger than ever. To be able to exchange 10 million for Deadpool, this deal is worth it. As for whether it can be successful, Noah has not considered it. Just like the Punisher, as long as Wade still has a bond, it is unlikely to refuse his solicitation. The current Deadpool only recognizes money, but the money he earns is also for Vanessa. Noah thought clearly. The three did not stay long at the scene. He left after hearing the roar of a police car. This is not a good place to talk. A car was arranged and the three returned to Umbrella before talking. So, who hired you? Wade chuckled, then covered his face, and said meanly. Don't be so anxious, before doing this kind of thing, there must be some foreplay. For example, if you ask me to open my mouth, I disagree, and then repeat it several times, and finally you force it. As he said that, Wade's recovered face was already full of shyness, matched with his honor, um, very disgusting. No's face darkened, he had the urge to kill, and some didn't know how to restrain it. Frank frowned even more. During his military career that year, 
he also came into contact with many mercenaries. Among them are not characters that he also admires. It's just that the positions of the two sides are different. But he doesn't like Deadpool. And it's very annoying. This is a bottomless person. For the sake of money, he was willing to betray his employer so easily, which already violated the bottom line of a killer. It's just that now they still need the information from the other party. After getting the information, he will definitely suggest to the boss to kill this scum. Noah looked at Wade expressionlessly. Finally, Wade fell silent. Well, chatting with people like you is not interesting at all, it's not as interesting as my communication with Shaokuti last time. Since you want information, what about money? Quote, Wade looked at Noah. Noah didn't hesitate, and directly asked Wade to report the account number, and then typed in 10 million. Seeing this scene, Wade said with a smile. Nice job. In fact, if you'd like to add some more, I. Noah directly stopped his following words. Let's get straight to the point, who hired you? Wade interfaced without any sense of disobedience. Jin Bin, No's pupils shrank. It really was him. No's expression remained the same, but killing intent was already surging in his heart. Only in Hell's Kitchen can you feel Jin's power in this place. And the conflict between him and Jin Bing is irreconcilable. That being the case, even if Jin Bin's death would bring turmoil to Hell's Kitchen, he must do it. Noah said without hesitation, I'll give you another two million and tell me Jin Bin's location. In addition, if you want, I can hire you with another two million annual salary to be my personal bodyguard. At the same time, you can take your girlfriend to the vicinity of Umbrella. I can assure you that he or she will be treated with the utmost care. I can even promise you that I will do my best to restore your skin. Quote, two million was the price he gave Frank. Wade is undoubtedly worth the price. The current Deadpool only has an immortal body. But if it is transformed, it can definitely become his big killer. Hearing those conditions, Wade whistled. The conditions are good, so I want to offer chrysanthemums right away. But my face, I am afraid there is no way to restore it. Quote, Noah said directly. Umbrella, in terms of bioengineering, is absolutely top-notch. And although I am young, I am also the top in the field of biochemistry. If even Umbrella can't solve your problem, the whole world, and no one else, can. I won't make any promises like you, but I can promise to try my best. In addition, have you considered that your girlfriend may not care about your face? Quote, Wade's disfigurement problem is purely because of his too strong recovery ability. To be honest, Noah has no confidence to solve it. But no matter whether it is successful or not, if he makes such a promise, Wade will not object to the study of his genes and may even wish to be a guinea pig. As for Wade's girlfriend, Noah still has some impressions. So he can be sure that as long as Wade dares to meet Vanessa, the two can reconcile. The reason why Wade became what he is now is that, apart from being tortured and causing him to collapse, the main reason is that he was unable to face Vanessa because of his disfigurement. Noah also hoped that if this problem could be solved, maybe Wade could become a normal man. Although Wade did not express his position on the spot, he still betrayed Jin Bing's position without hesitation. After getting Jin Bin's position, Noah said, Frank, get ready. It's time for our strategic security forces to move. Quote, the strategic security force is a private armed force that Noah started to form after Frank joined. Led by Frank, the special warfare veterans he brought over are the main force. Coupled with Noah's carefully prepared weapons, this armed force is definitely not weak. Although it is the company's security department on the surface, in fact, it is his personal armed force. Everyone who joined signed the corresponding agreement. This is also the base department for the future security forces of Umbrella and Annabella. Frank's expression immediately became serious. Don't worry boss, you won't be disappointed. Noah nodded. Strategic security forces are on the one hand, and biological weapons are even more important. To deal with this kind of cunning rabbit and three caves, it is necessary to kill with one blow to avoid more troubles. Since the demise of an Irish gangster cannot deter Hell's Kitchen. Then make this list, add another gold and be done. No's determination was firm. At the same time, he didn't forget to add some protection to the family. Even at this time, there are several tyrants and a large number of fighting wolves around his house. 
family is his bottom line, no one can violate it. After getting Jin Bin's position, Noah immediately started to make arrangements. When he came to the laboratory, Noah activated five tyrants without hesitation, and at the same time activated over a hundred fighting wolves. Looking at the power in front of him, Noah smiled. These are my confidants. That's not all, though. On the other side, there are also a batch of cultivation tanks, and there are some guys that are even bigger than the tyrant. It's a pity that the laboratory space in the urban area is limited, otherwise, it would never be so, shabby. Fortunately, the funds are sufficient, and the progress of the hive is very fast. In half a year at most, it should be completed initially. Kim, on the other hand, wasn't an idiot either. He got the news immediately that the killer he had invited might surrender. Without saying anything, Jin Bing's eyes flickered. This time, it was really torn apart. Noah Allen might react right away. After thinking for a while, he issued several orders in a row, and then left in a hurry. After Noah activated the biological weapon, the strategic security force has also been assembled. The current strategic security force has only more than 30 people. After all, this kind of private armed force must be carefully selected. Not to mention combat power, loyalty is a big problem. The current manpower was also inspected by Frank himself. At least Noah is satisfied. The power must be developed step by step, only in this way will it not become a castle in the air and collapse overnight. At the same time, S.H.I.E.L.D. also received information that Noah Allen was attacked. When Noah Allen's information was just obtained, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s definition of Noah Allen was just a somewhat abnormal monitoring target. But with the appearance of Fighting Wolf and even the Tyrant, his importance has suddenly increased several levels. Although it can't be compared with Tony Stark's important strategic goal, it is also on their focus list. Have you found out who did it? Nick Fury asked while approving the documents. Coulson said, it hasn't been found yet, but the one who launched the attack was a notorious guy in the mercenary world. He has a powerful healing ability and recognizes money but not people. At present, it can only be found that the employer is a gangster from Hell's Kitchen. Quote, These scum, do you really think they can be so unscrupulous? Nick Fury looked up. There was some dissatisfaction on his face. Coulson said helplessly, Director, you also know the current situation in Hell's Kitchen. As the trash bin of New York and even the whole country, in fact, those gangsters are so arrogant. Quote, then, Coulson tentatively asked, You said, Noah Allen, will you respond? Nick Fury said without thinking. Of course, if he knows who the enemy is. This answer is equivalent to acquiescing to the possibility of Noah Allen's revenge. Because of the information they received, the mercenary did not die. Then shall we intervene? Stop him, Hell's Kitchen, don't mess around. Also, give that crap some warning in hindsight. Quote. Nick Fury spoke directly and set the result for this matter. In his eyes, Noah Allen's personal threat was nothing at all. Coulson nodded and left. Although they don't know who the target is, any disturbance in New York can't be hidden from the eyes of S.H.I.E.L.D. So they have the confidence. That night, Noah led people to set off directly. Several black vans left Umbrella one after another. The strategic security forces were also scattered into the night. Today is destined to be a night of blood. Soon, Several vans slowly stopped under the headquarters of the famous philanthropist Wilson Fisk. The carriage door opened, and the tyrants stepped down. In the night, a large number of fighting wolves also gathered from the dark. Umbrella's strategic security forces also got off the car quickly. Without further ado, Noah ordered directly. Attack. In an instant, dozens of fighting wolves rushed in screaming. The five tyrants started to run with heavy weapons in their hands. The terrifying weight made each of them bring heavy footsteps. Then, bursts of caracalla sounded, and Umbrella's strategic security forces followed closely behind. Noah looked at Deadpool standing beside him. Wade, don't you go and see. Wade thought for a while, and then suddenly said excitedly. Maybe I should use chrysanthemums to compensate my old boss. Said, also followed in. Noah didn't move. Now he is still an ordinary person. Last time, it was because of the lack of combat power of several parties and the obvious target of the Irish gang, so he was a little more adventurous. This time, the strength of several parties is enough, and the opponent is Jin Bing, so he naturally doesn't need to take this risk. 
Looking at the dark neighborhood around him, Noah sneered constantly. The team had just entered the hall when suddenly there was loud gunfire. The next moment, boom, boom, there were constant explosions. Boss, the enemy's firepower is too strong. A subordinate who controlled the tyrant spoke with cold sweat on his forehead. No's face darkened slightly. Sure enough, Kim should have been prepared. Keep going. Don't care about the casualties, even if all five tyrants are lost here, I want to see the troops advance to the top floor. Quote. Clear. After the man finished speaking, he started pushing again, but this time, the pushing action was much rougher than before. They don't have much time, and such a war will soon attract the attention of the government. After all, there has been an incident of the destruction of Irish gangsters before. All forces will not allow a similar situation to happen again. Thinking about it, Noah took out a special communicator. The signal here has long been blocked by him, and only this communicator can communicate with the outside world. Elvis, lift the restrictions on Goliath 1 to 3 immediately. Boss, the Goliath giant is still complete. Noah interrupted directly without hearing Elvis continue. Now, lifting the restrictions, I don't want to hear another response. Um, yes, Elvis stroked his graying hair and sighed. The boss is too impulsive. I really don't know if my choice is right or not. But who let it be, the boss made him. Sighing, Elvis' speed in his hands is not slow. Soon, three huge cultivation tanks opened. Then Elvis worked on the computer. Three huge monsters opened their eyes at the same time. Roar, seeing the three giant Goliaths activated, Elvis also had some excitement on his face. Go, let me see your battle data. According to the division of the boss, these Goliath giants are level 4 biological weapons like the Trial Tyrant. However, the paper data of the Trial Tyrant is much worse than that of the Goliath giant, and at most it can reach the standard of level 4. The Goliath giant's data is already close to the top level of level 4. There is no doubt that this is the real monster. Although the Goliath giant is huge, it does not appear bloated. The terrifying height also brought them a huge advantage. Every step can cover a distance of several meters. Three Goliaths run wildly on the road. Some passers-by who hadn't fallen asleep thought that a monster had invaded when they saw this scene. For a while, the police station's alarm phone rang nonstop. The operator immediately notified Clinton director George Stacy. But George was out of the foreign police at this time. Just a few minutes ago, Wilson Fisk called the police, saying that terrorists had attacked their company. George's heart is the same as that of the mirror. Ordinary people don't know that Wilson Fisk has a gang background, but he's not ordinary. There are always some clues in the cases in the bureau, leading to Wilson Fisk. It's just that without evidence, they can't just arrest people based on guesswork. This guy, who might be a gangster, actually called the police and said there was a terrorist attack. The moment he heard it, George Stacy only felt a little ridiculous. What's even more ridiculous is that he had to call the police to help the gang leader. While George was acting, Coulson also received the news. Jin Bing, the newly risen underworld leader. This answer was somewhat beyond his expectations, but it did not hinder his actions. Jin Bing was also within their previous expectations. Even in the top three. Jin can't die, at least not now, and it must be no less than an earthquake to New York. The impact is far greater than the demise of the Irish gangsters. So he immediately ordered dozens of S.H.I.E.L.D. elite agents to rush to the scene. This exchange of fire must be stopped in time. And the scene, above the Wilson building. A man quietly watches the commotion below the mansion. Behind him, a man with a target tattooed on his forehead licked the throwing knife in his hand with his tongue. Ten minutes at most, the police should arrive. There was killing intent and madness in the man's eyes. This man is bullseye. Honestly, I can't even figure it out. If you don't let me go down, what do you want me to do? The man in front was expressionless and didn't reply. Bullseye was bored and a little upset, but seeing that the other party didn't pay attention to him, he could only continue watching with such curiosity. What can those people below do in less than 10 minutes? Not to mention going up to the top floor. I'm afraid the hall can't be attacked. The firepower of Jin Bing's men was terrifyingly strong. Seeing that he couldn't attack for a long time, Frank also became a little anxious. It's not that they are weak, it's that the opponent's firepower is too fierce. 
There are probably no less than five RPGs alone. What kind of place is Jin Bindang here, a battlefield? Facing the threat of RPG, the enemy has occupied favorable terrain again. Even if it is a tyrant, it is difficult to break through. After all, RPGs can really bring harm to tyrants. Even if it was Deadpool, he couldn't rush through it for a while, so he could only curse and use his personal special vocabulary. Both of them were a little anxious, but Noah was not at all anxious. Soon, at the end of the darkness, there was a rumbling sound. When the two looked over, they saw three giants running fast. Even a tyrant is like a chicken cub in front of these giants. What are these? The two looked dignified, and both retreated to Noah's side, worried about the giant's intention. Noah laughed and said, Goliath 1 is a trial model of the company's Goliath series. He is more than 5 meters tall, has a strong recovery ability, and has an extremely fast attack speed. Most importantly, his strength is terrifying enough. The only pity is that the first Goliath was not flexible enough to move in a small area. Quote. While speaking, the three giant Goliaths had already rushed forward. Only then did the two see the appearance of the giant Goliath. Huge body, full of ferocious muscle tissue. Of the two arms, one is normal, but the other has different shapes. Noah looked at the three Goliath giants, and then looked at the top floor, as if he saw a figure standing in front of the French windows looking at them. Go in, the voice fell, roar, the three Goliath giants raised their heads to the sky and roared, then rushed straight towards the building. Members of Umbrella's strategic security force were taken aback. Then I saw three giant shadows directly passing them, rushing to the forefront of the tyrant and the morning dog's attack. Boom, with a dull bang, one of the giant Goliaths slammed into the wall of the building, and the other two followed suit. Obviously they had no intention of going through the door at all. These big guys are so stupid, it's like I. Wade just wanted to express his feelings. But the Goliath giants began to smash. Incomparably solid walls, smashed rubble flying. Wade's eyes widened. These big guys are so powerful, I like it. Inside the wall, several gangster boys leaning against the wall were leaning on the wall to shoot. The sudden movement in their ears made them feel a little uneasy. It didn't wait for them to consider whether to transfer. With a bang, a big hole was smashed into the wall. The two gang members who were in front of them were directly hit by falling rocks, and they didn't know whether they were alive or dead. Seeing this situation, someone immediately shouted. Attention, battering ram, how could these guys have such a thing? Shoot me all, shoot hard, plug this hole. Quote, although the battering ram is less used now, it is also a sharp weapon for breaking defenses. And compared to the ancient human siege rams, the current siege rams are all mechanically powered and powerful. Obviously this guy has seen a lot, and immediately thought of this kind of siege, which is extremely rare now. But then, the man opened his mouth wide. Because what came with the hole wasn't some enemy with a battering ram. It was a huge monster, staring at them coldly with big copper bell-like eyes. This pressure directly made him shiver. Even more so with other gangsters. The next moment, the giant Goliath exploded violently. The giant hammer arm on the right arm smashed again. With a bang, the door was completely opened. Then, the giant Goliath rushed in with a roar, ignoring the hail of bullets in front of him. He just used the relatively small left arm to cover his eyes. Roar, roar, the roars sounded again and again, and the sudden entry of the three Goliath giants directly broke the calm of the battle situation. Several tyrants also began to exert their strength. Gatling began to swallow his flames, completely suppressing the enemies who still wanted to resist. There were constant screams, roars, and explosions. Noah looked at the Goliath giants and tyrants who were killing all directions on the display screen, and nodded silently. He was very satisfied with Goliath's performance. However, the overall performance of this kind of big guy is actually not as good as that of a tyrant. And the cost is much higher than that of the tyrant, which makes him quite regretful. But in general, the most critical step has already been taken. Come on, Kim Bin, show me your means. If that's all there is to it, it won't stop me. Today, will you die? Noah stared straight at the French windows on the top floor. There should be someone there. As far as Noah knows. Kim has never been one to rely on strength to do things. Even if his strength is extremely terrifying. 
In this situation, what will Kim do? Noah thought, although his talent in research is good, resourcefulness is not something he is good at. It can be understood as unnecessary, or it can be understood as not suitable. At least for now, he doesn't feel the need to use any tricks. Led by the giant Goliath and the tyrant, they advanced extremely fast. Even if someone wants to hide, but with the sense of smell of fighting wolf, no one can hide. You don't need to keep your hands, you can kill anything you see. This is an order from Noah. Perhaps there may be ordinary people among them. But Noah never thought of himself as a good person. As long as it can be ensured that most of the people are gang members, it is a reason for him to do it. Seeing that the troops have quickly advanced to more than half of the height. Although the resistance along the way was very fierce, it did not meet No's expectations at all. Why does Jin think that he can rely on these to block himself who owns the tyrant? It is impossible for Jin not to know about the tyrant's information. Unless, he's not here at all. No's thought flashed, his face sank. Not to mention, this possibility is very high. Even if he assembled the troops immediately. But the moment he decided to act at night, he gave Jin the leeway to leave. If Jin Bing had a keen sense and didn't intend to confront him head on, it's quite possible that he wasn't upstairs at this time. But if it is not here, where can it be? Although Jin Bing is not the underworld emperor who later oppressed the whole country, but at this time in New York, he has few opponents. Would this kind of underworld emperor escape in embarrassment? Just when he was thinking. In the distance, a siren sounded. Noah was taken aback, what the hell? He has blocked the signal here, and like last time, cut off the electricity in the nearby blocks. How did the police come so fast? The next moment, he reacted. I'm afraid it was Jin Bin himself who called the police. Kim is not like other gangsters. On the bright side, he is even a great philanthropist. Call the police if something goes wrong, nothing seems wrong. Noah frowned and ordered directly. Frank, keep pushing. Before coming, he was ready. Deadpool himself testified that although his revenge was too much, it was not without room for maneuver. The big deal is just nonsense. He has hired a top team of lawyers. If you don't find something for them to do, why don't you hire them for free? As a series of police cars stopped, a large number of policemen got out of the cars immediately, and then used the police cars as cover to surround No's place. The members of the strategic security forces who stayed with Noah were about to raise their weapons immediately. Noah waved his hand to signal them not to be nervous. Fight the police, his mind is fine. Looking at George Stacy hiding behind the police car door, Noah smiled and said, Director Stacy, can I ask why you are here? George Stacy didn't hesitate and said directly, Mr. Wilson Fisk called the police to report an attack on his business. Mr. Allen, I didn't expect that the person who attacked would be you. I advise you to withdraw the attacking personnel immediately, and then meet with us, otherwise, today's matter may not be easy to handle. Quote. No's face remained unchanged. George Stacy called tough, but whether he revealed the name Wilson Fisk or these threats, it only proved that he didn't want to cause trouble. So Noah said with a dissatisfied expression. Director Stacy, I think it can be explained about this matter. Just today, this afternoon, I was attacked by Wilson Fisk, and I survived. Originally, I just wanted to have a peaceful talk with him, to talk about this matter. However, he did not expect that he would ambush a large number of gunmen in the company, causing a large number of casualties among Umbrella members. So I suggest, you'd better bring someone to control Wilson Fisk first, and then we'll discuss how to solve the next problem. Quote. George Stacy said nothing. Whether it is Wilson Fisk or Noah Allen, in his eyes, they are all wolves in human clothing. None of them are good stubble. Just like now, Noah Allen said seriously, but in fact, he didn't mean to stop his subordinates at all. Obviously stalling for time here. George Stacy's face darkened. If this matter is not handled properly, it will become a big trouble. Just when he was about to continue talking, a row of black cars rushed over. The shield agents headed by Coulson got out of the car, and then dozens of elite agents immediately took control of the situation. After showing his ID card, Coulson said, Mr. Allen, please ask your people to withdraw immediately. Your behavior at this time has constituted a crime of endangering social security. If you don't do it, we will arrest you. Quote. 
When Noah heard it, his face suddenly became gloomy. Shield is really powerful. When I met with your chief some time ago, I already experienced it. I thought it was just his personal behavior, but now it seems that this is the behavior style of the entire shield. Quote. Coulson's expression remained unchanged, and he recalled the ugly expression on the director's face when he came back. The cost of their shield to purchase the tyrant is much higher than that of the military. But he didn't dare to ask how much taller he was, for fear that the chief would beat him up. Sorry, all actions of shield are for the safety of society. Mr. Allen, please don't delay, otherwise we will have to come by ourselves. Quote. As he spoke, Coulson waved his hand, and several vans behind him opened. The three tyrants came out from inside. Noah narrowed his eyes. I didn't expect that the goods I just handed over a few days ago were used by S.H.I.E.L.D. to deal with me. Do you really think he wasn't ready? He even had the idea of directly starting to leave a back door for the tyrant and in turn threaten Coulson. But just think about it. After doing this, Umbrella's products may not be easy to sell in the future. Facing the threat of the tyrant, Noah did not speak, and directly turned on the communicator. Frank, bring someone down first. It seems that this is the end of today. Quote. After finishing speaking, Noah looked at Coulson and said coldly. Don't tell me, you don't know why I'm here. Although I'm not Tony Stark, you'd better give me an explanation. Coulson's expression softened when he heard the gunfire upstairs stopped. Please rest assured that we will issue a warning to the Jin Bian to ensure that similar situations will not happen again. Coulson deliberately said the word Jin Bing, which meant that they already knew Jin Bing's identity, so that Noah could trust their promise. It can even be said that this is a deterrent to Noah. Of course, a combination of both is more likely. But that doesn't matter. Noah sneered. Warn, I really thought everyone would give you shield status. However, Noah didn't say this out loud, so this face can still be given. There is only one reason why he really gave up. Jin is not here, since the target is not there, there is no need to fall out with S.H.I.E.L.D. After all, he is a businessman. As a businessman, profit is the most important thing, at least it should be like this now. Chapter 51 Upstairs, with sirens and gunshots disappearing. The man smiled. Okay, it's time for us to play. After finishing speaking, the two went downstairs. Frank and others exited the building. The tyrant and the giant Goliath followed closely behind. As for the fighting wolf, in this battle, less than half of them were lost. This reflects the weakness of fighting wolf. In a real fight, the shortcomings are still obvious when the opponent is on guard. George Stacy was shocked when he saw these biological weapons of Noah. He had heard some gossip, but this was the first time he had said goodbye. Even Coulson looked serious. There is a tyrant here, he naturally thought of it a long time ago. Even the tyrant he brought was a product of Umbrella, how could it be possible that Noah Allen's men had no reserves? But the giant Goliath, it was something he had never heard of. Not to mention anything else, that terrifying body over five meters was full of pressure. And huge arms, whose destructive power no one doubts. Under this man-made monster, Coulson had the feeling of facing a beast with his bare hands for the first time that year. It was utter immobility of fear. Fortunately, he quickly picked up his mood. The tyrant they brought was just to put some pressure on Noah Allen, and had no intention of doing anything. The situation is still under their control. Boss, what's the matter? Frank asked a question. Wade curled his lips, today's fight was like letting him take off his pants and then put them up halfway. Accurate. Apart from these two words, no words can describe his mood at this moment. Noah whispered, Shield, Hope Hell's kitchen is at peace. So, come here specifically to stop us. Quote, Shield. Frank was a little puzzled, he didn't know much about this department. But looking at the boss's appearance, you can tell that this department is obviously not easy to mess with. Otherwise, they should have rushed to the top floor by now. Noah nodded. Before he could speak, George Stacy reacted, and said to Noah. Mr. Allen, you have to go back to the police station with me. What happened today is not so easy to pass. There needs to be a rationale for the fact that you led people to attack a major philanthropist in New York. Otherwise, we will have to arrest you. Quote, Noah looked at George Stacy, smiled slightly and said. 
Of course, I have evidence and physical evidence, but I hope my legal team will handle the next thing. Hearing the words, lawyer team, George Stacy's head was about to grow big. That is a group of uncles. Once the wrangling with the legal team started, it was impossible for the matter to end without a few months. But there is no way, with Noah Allen so cooperative, and he also knows how troublesome this matter is, he nodded. Just be more troublesome. At this moment, two people walked out of the already riddled building. One of them looked thin, and the other had a bullseye carved on his forehead. Noah narrowed his eyes. He didn't know the lean man, but he knew the other guy was Bullseye. The killer who has been hired by Kim to work all year round. The man passed Noah and said to George Stacy, Chief Stacy, Noah Allen attacked us for no reason. We must give us an explanation. Quote, George Stacy nodded, then looked at Noah. Noah looked directly at the man, and he could make Bullseye follow him, so it should be Jin Bin's stand-in. And it seems that this man is not an ordinary substitute. Although the body looks a little thin, but the eyes are very sharp, it is not easy to see. George Stacy said, Mr. Allen, you heard what Mr. Fisk said, please don't make it difficult for us. You can contact a lawyer if you have anything to do, but for now, yours will go back with me. Quote. Noah looked at George Stacy, and then said to the man who claimed to be Jin Bin. Fine, the man was taken aback. What's good? He hasn't reacted yet. Noah sneered, and communicated with a system-made fighting wolf with his mind. In the next moment, the fighting wolf got the command and bit the man with a whimper. At the same time, Noah raised his hand and made a gesture of drawing his gun. Bullseye backhanded a dart at him. But Noah had been prepared for a long time, and directly pulled over the dumbfounded Deadpool. Wade looked at the darts in his chest. Some don't understand what's going on. It was just this delay that the fighting wolf had already bit the man's neck. Coulson was furious. Noah Allen, what are you doing? Noah looked innocent. What have I done, me and my men standing here, what can be done? Don't you see, that guy just shot my bodyguard with a dart, look at the dart on his chest, it could kill someone at any time, oh, poor Wade, he just took office. Quote. Bullseye's face was a bit ugly. He knew he was being used, and Osley's neck was already covered with blood, it was obvious that he could not be saved. Noah just finished speaking, then lowered his voice and said to Wade. Good performance, 300,000 rewards. When Wade heard it, he immediately reacted and screamed. It's just that the voice of screaming is full of air, not convincing at all. Noah didn't care either. When he talked to Wade just now, he said he lowered his voice. In fact, both Coulson and George Stacy should have heard it. But so what, everyone knows that it is not these, performances, that determine the outcome of the matter now. Want to bring him down Noah Allen with all this? Let's first ask the high-level supporters behind him whether they agree or not. In just a few seconds of delay, the terrifying bite force of the fighting wolf had crushed the throat of Jin Bing's stand-in. He didn't care who that person was, nor did he care what purpose he had. Since Jin Bin can't be found, then kill the double. George Stacy was also anxious and angry. He didn't know it was a stand-in. Just thinking, Wilson Fisk is dead, maybe his seat will be the end. It's a big trouble now. No's complexion remained unchanged, but he just smiled slightly. George Stacy was livid. Noah Allen, do you know how much trouble you will cause by killing a big philanthropist here? Do you think you can handle it? No's face remained unchanged. This is obviously a loss of control of the fighting wolf, after all, it is a weapon, so it is inevitable. Don't talk nonsense without evidence, I can sue you for defamation. Quote. Several people suddenly became anxious. Although they couldn't understand, they were out of control at this time, and no one would believe it if he said it wasn't under his control. Noah suddenly stared at a few people indifferently. What's more, even if I kill him, so what, now, I just charge some interest. The expressions of several people changed drastically. George's face changed, and he stretched his hand to his chest. Just listen to Noah say. Forget it, all recording equipment is unavailable here. But if you want, I have enough lawyers to argue with you. Quote. Is Noah right? Of course it makes sense. If there is a recording, they can still put pressure on Noah Allen. But now there is no recording. Several people are very clear in their hearts. Witness. 
This kind of evidence, if it is said to be useful, is of course useful, but it can be said to be useless, and it is indeed useless. After all, behind Noah Allen, there are some inexplicable big shots paying attention. As long as he can show enough value, the attention of the big man will not disappear. Unless he confronts the government head-on, otherwise, even S.H.I.E.L.D. will not touch him. Not to mention the NYPD. And now, Noah Allen's behavior is revenge. Revenge for the assassination of himself. In the eyes of those big shots, this is definitely a justifiable reason. Especially, those giants, new achievements mean greater value. Maybe he will have some troubles in the future, but his position will only become stronger. Seeing that there was nothing he could do, Coulson decided to leave. George Stacy looked at Bullseye, considering whether to take it back, which can be regarded as a kind of protection for him. After all, Noah Allen is so arrogant, it's hard to say whether he will kill someone next time. After stimulating the two of them, Noah also restrained his attitude and said. Also, this guy on the ground is not some Wilson Fisk, he's just a stand-in. For a moment, both of them looked over fiercely. Substitute. What a joke. Could their intelligence be wrong? But Noah Allen didn't have to lie to them. George Stacy is okay, but Coulson's face is really ugly. S.H.I.E.L.D. is a serious secret service organization. Even Coulson's thick-skinned face was a little red at this moment. Even the righteous master didn't understand how meaningful the so-called warning could be. That night, Noah was taken to the police station in the middle of the night. This didn't come out until his lawyer went over. George Stacy understood the situation, so he didn't make it difficult for him, but Bullseye had already taken the opportunity to leave. Coming out of the police station, Noah's face suddenly turned cold. This matter is far from over. As long as Jin is not dead, then he, and even his parents, will never be at ease. But the most urgent thing is to change the address. He immediately contacted Orlando and talked about the problem of the house. Orlando said, Boss, I've already found it. In Manhattan, it's a rich area. I've found a high-end villa area. No one dares to make trouble there, so you can rest assured. Well, I'll let my parents go there. In addition, the corresponding safety measures need to be done well, and there can be no mistakes. After hanging up the phone, Noah contacted Marcy and the others again. Live in another place, the two readily agreed. The original old house was gone, even if it was rebuilt on the original site, it would not have the same feeling as before, and they naturally had no objection to changing it to a better place. Then Noah called Frank again and asked him to arrange corresponding protective measures. As for the words that no one dares to make trouble, just listen to it. But at least weapons of mass destruction are impossible to appear there. That's enough for now. After a series of worries have been arranged, the next step is the time for him to really play against the gangsters. At the same time, King was furious when he received the news that Leland Owsley had been killed. Although he has a lot of men, there are also several substitutes. But Leland Owsley was different. The other substitutes, who replaced his identity as Jin Bin, were just illusions used to confuse people. But what Leland Owsley replaced was his identity as Wilson Fisk. No one knew, but the real Wilson Fisk was hiding in the dark. One ring after another is his real means of hiding. Originally, everything was under control, but who would have thought that that lunatic would kill George Stacy directly in front of him? Let Osley's words be spoken, and die without saying a word. Enraged, he directly killed several heavyweight fighters that he had found from various places that day. Afterwards, Jin calmed down. He is not a person who relies on his muscles to do things. On the contrary, his intelligence is what he thinks is his best. He found the leaders of the underworld forces in Hell's Kitchen overnight. When they arrived at the place, most of the people's faces had expressions of watching the show. It's not an easy task to make Jin embarrassed. Jin Bian, I heard that your substitute died. The boss who spoke focused on the word, Jin Bing, and emphasized his tone because he couldn't be sure whether the man in front of him was Jin Bing himself. Jin Bin glanced at him, his indifferent eyes made the boss's heart skip a beat. Then he said, Everyone, you must have heard the news about what happened tonight. That's right, it was one of my capable men who died. But don't feel like it's just my loss. You all know how much trouble the existence of Noah Allen has brought to Hell's Kitchen. 
so I propose to erase him completely. Quote, are you kidding, you are just your business. Even if we have some losses, they are all within the acceptable range, why should we stand up and share the risk with you? Quote, one person spoke coldly, moving Noah Allen is not without risk. And what Jin Bin meant was obviously not as simple as simply sending people to assassinate. Jin didn't change his face. What if I can give up some shares? Everyone's heart moved. Benefits are the key, and now, Jin does not plan to spit out his own interests. Madame Gao looked at him, and slowly said, Do you think we will cooperate with a person who dare not even show his true colors? There was a bit of old-fashioned in the voice, and he coughed heavily. Others also nodded. That's right, let Jin Bing come out in person. Hearing this, Jin didn't have any expression on his face, but just grabbed the corner of the table with his right hand. The tabletop made of solid wood was instantly crushed into pieces. I am Jin Bin. Looking at the crumbs on the table, everyone felt apprehensive. The previous doubts disappeared in an instant. The rumors were true. This is the real Jin Bin, the power of terror. But it just makes them jealous. Some people even showed disdain. Strength. This is an era of playing with guns. No matter how powerful the force is, it is still a matter of one shot. Only people like Mrs. Gao looked serious. Does anyone still doubt it? Jin Bing glanced around lightly, and then there was a hint of sarcasm at the corner of his mouth. A bunch of idiots. On the other side, Noah sorted out his harvest. The trouble this time caused was not small, and I am afraid that there will be a lot of trouble in the follow-up. But there are also gains. The deal with Tony Stark gives him immediate access to a high-quality energy source. If the electric energy used at this stage is eliminated, he will be able to maintain the accelerated research state for a long time. The T-virus is relatively complicated, but the analysis of the unsullied giant's gene has almost been completed. It happens that the vacant position can be used to study Deadpool genes. This might further boost the power of a tyrant or Goliath. In addition, the most intuitive harvest is the harvested gene. Ordinary genes are nothing, they can only be replaced with cell sources, but Deadpool genes are extremely special, maybe he can replace them with some good things. There was a look of expectation in No's eyes. For ordinary cell source extraction, he didn't expect much. The source of cell source is very simple, any biological cell can be converted into different numbers of cell source. In theory, if all life on earth were to be killed. Forget it, I still don't want such a terrible thing. The cell source is a certain substance that is unique to each living individual. What exactly is the cell source, Noah still can't understand. But this does not affect his use. He often looks for cell tissues of different individuals and converts them into cell sources to gamble on luck. It's a pity that the harvest has been mediocre so far. A series of extraction results gave him an unexpected expression. He is used to not being able to smoke good things. Then he submitted a small piece of Deadpool's flesh and blood tissue to the system. The exact location is unknown, and these were brought back to him by the corpse worms. It couldn't be easier to get this guy's flesh and blood. He did not choose to directly replace the cell source, but performed an equivalent replacement. The so-called equal positional replacement means that the replacement gene is limited to a certain range instead of a large-scale random selection. The value of the genes exchanged is at least not too bad but it's also hard to top Deadpool gene too much. However, the definition of genetic value in the system is somewhat different from No's own definition. For example, the Deadpool gene, the level presumption given by the system, belongs to the seventh level life. What is this concept? Even a biological weapon like the Tyrant is only worth level 4. In No's estimation, the seventh level is lower, and it is also the level of the Hulk. What's the result of Deadpool and Hulk's confrontation? The answer Noah gave was. Hanging. Hulk really can't kill Deadpool. But as long as Hulk can still move, Deadpool's fate can only be to maintain a state of flesh. Of course, with such recovery ability, one can carry out rough body modification. Only, Wade may not be willing to let people do this, it will remind him of nightmares. Thinking about it, Noah shook his head secretly, a little regretful. Deadpool's recovery ability is too heaven-defying, but it's a pity that it doesn't have much applicability. Just put the Deadpool gene in the system research position. 
Seeing the series of data given by the system, Noah knew that the research on Deadpool's genes was of little value. It is difficult to split, and the income is average. A mortal physique is certainly powerful, but there are many other convenient ways to compare it. It's really not worth wasting time here. If you really plunge into it, you may not be able to get results in three years. However, research still needs to be done, and he intends to hand over the research task to Umbrella's researchers. I promised Wade that I would try to restore his appearance. In case the laboratory really researches any effect, it will be a good way to analyze and deal with the symptoms through the system. Researching this kind of thing is sometimes really hard to say. With Noah choosing equal position replacement, the system started to work. Soon, a gene has appeared in the system space. The moment he looked up the information, Noah's pupils shrank. Then, Noah suddenly laughed a few times. System, start research. He directly removed the Deadpool gene, which was still undergoing preliminary analysis, and replaced it with the newly acquired, black light virus. Noah was very excited. Compared with the T-virus, the black light virus is the perfect transformation choice in his mind. With continuous research, the research on T-virus has progressed to the point where biological experiments can be tried. But Noah didn't think about it at all. Even if he wanted to use the T-virus to transform, it would have to wait for him to lay the foundation. Because although the lower limit of the T-virus is not low, the upper limit is not high enough. An incomplete product like the first tyrant already possesses level 4 combat power. This means that the tyrant's comprehensive data has completely broken through the limits of the human body. There are even perfect individuals like Alice. However, it is really not strong enough. The dangers of the Marvel world and the world of Resident Evil are basically the same as the sky and the earth. The best thing about the black light virus is that it can remember infinitely and then evolve. Even if it is not strong enough at the beginning, it can continue to become stronger as it evolves and devours. With the black light virus, maybe the T-virus can also be absorbed by the black light virus. If this continues, one day, he will be able to break arms with Thanos. He just didn't know the limitations and shortcomings of the black light virus, which required his follow-up research. This kind of thing is still good for your own use. Noah has made a decision. People, always have to keep some cards for themselves. The next day, Tony called and said that someone had been arranged to build the base station of the arc reactor for Umbrella and let him take over. As for Jarvis, it is impossible to give the core program. But he intends to copy, and then rewrite part of the program, and asked him if he had any specific requirements. Noah directly talked about the simple situation of the Red Queen in the movie. After listening, Tony Stark complained directly. I didn't expect you to be this kind of person. Who? Noah felt extremely innocent, you know what a fart, this is called feelings, and he said without showing any weakness. It's better than you, isn't it disgusting to talk to a man's voice every day? Or, do you have any special hobbies? Two sentences left Tony Stark speechless. After cursing the word hell, Tony Stark hung up the phone. Noah smiled, since he mastered the skill of talking to Tony Stark, he feels very happy every time he chats with Tony Stark. Just thinking about it, Orlando brought him a message. Boss, Ivan Vanke is here. Noah felt better when he heard it. Ivan Vanke was the person he had named for a long time ago. As the villain in the plot of the Iron Man movie, Ivan Vanke's research ability is beyond doubt. Although the battle armor he made seems to have a lot of flaws, it is incomparable with the Mark series but no one can deny the extent of his genius. Maya Hansen was not found, but it was a good result to find this one. In other words, it was exactly what he wanted. When I saw Ivan Vanke, I watched him dress up deliberately, looking energetic, but in fact it was hard to hide his sloppy appearance. Noah shook his head secretly. Exactly the same as Professor Connor, this is also the normal state of researchers. Dr. Ivan, thank you for your trust in our company. I believe that coming to our company will definitely be your best choice. Ivan Vanke said with a somewhat unhappy face. Mr. Allen, the person who came to me said, can you support me against Tony Stark? But I just found out that you are still a shareholder of Stark Industries. Quote. Noah chuckled lightly. Whoever says that I am a shareholder of Stark cannot deal with him. Stark Industries is Tony Stark's company. Umbrella is mine. I heard about your father, 
and I am very sorry about it, and I also saw your talent in the field of physics. I believe that as long as you are given enough resources, your future achievements will not be worse than Tony Stark. Quote, Everyone likes to hear compliments, and Ivan Venki is no exception. Noah went on to say, I don't know what you're going to do with Tony Stark, but I can give you a suggestion. For example, I fully support your research. How about letting you beat him at what he does best? I heard that your father finally died because he was angry with Howard Stark. Don't you think, for someone as proud as Tony Stark, defeating him in the field he is best at is the greatest humiliation and revenge for him, and at the same time the greatest comfort for your father. Quote, Ivan Vanke's eyes brightened slightly. There is no doubt that he has this confidence. Seeing Ivan Vanke think of the excitement, he couldn't help laughing. Noah was also very satisfied. A top scientist has arrived. Ivan Vanke can even make a small reactor, even if he is worse than Tony Stark, he is still the top batch. With the joining of Ivan Vanke, the company's technology projects can also be gradually established. And Dr. Ethan, once Ivan Vanke has set up the stage, he should no longer refuse his invitation. Of course, Tony Stark is definitely better when it comes to reactors. But it doesn't matter if the quality is poor. With Ivan Vanke, the quantity can definitely keep up. In addition, with the character of Tony Stark, the artificial intelligence program handed over to him is likely to have a back door. Maybe Ivan Vanke and Dr. Ethan will check together and try to find out. Of course, this is not safe. For the really important data, physical storage means are more reassuring. As for whether Ivan Vanke can handle Tony Stark, Noah could only mourn for him. This is something doomed to be impossible. Hell's Kitchen seems to be calm again. In the past few days, Noah has been busy with the new base. As a large amount of money was poured down, the hive that was started first, the main body was completed, and the internal filling work took up a lot of his time. But Noah knew that Jin would not disappear. At the same time, he knew in his heart that the next time Jin been attacked, it would definitely not be a small fight like before, but a determination to kill him. Noah is also looking forward to this possibility. Because he couldn't find the location of Jin Bing's real body. When a person wants to hide, especially for an underground emperor like Jin Bing, it is not so easy to find him. Although passive, this is already the best way. In this way, he hoped to attract money and show up in person. After killing his capable man, can Jin Bing still sit safely in the back? Noah didn't believe it. If Jin doesn't show up like this, then he, the underworld emperor, is just empty talk. No one wants to follow a boss who remains indifferent when his right-hand man is killed. This is a conspiracy. It was the conspiracy that Noah had prepared the night he went to the Wilson building. It's good to be able to block Jin Bing, but if you can't kill him, you have to hurt him. Since Kim doesn't need time to prepare, let him prepare. Next, is the collision of hard power. While waiting for Jin Bin to strike, he received a court summons. It's a lawsuit from the prosecution that's calling for a hearing on his issues. Noah is not surprised, this is something that has been prepared for a long time. After going there once, Noah handed over the problem to his legal team. However, the price he paid was that he paid a 50 million fine in advance. Facts have proved that spending a lot of money is still effective. At least after getting into such a big disaster, Noah can still do research outside with peace of mind. At the same time, after some hesitation, Wade finally chose to listen to his advice and went to find Vanessa. It is said that Wade had a good time there. But Noah still reminded him that the place was not safe. Those who arrested him may not give up, and may even threaten Vanessa's safety. Faced with this reasonable proposal, Wade decisively agreed to take Vanessa to live in New York. The only requirement is to be neighbors with No's parents. Is this a problem? Of course not. Noah can't wait for this. In this way, Wade can feel at ease, and secondly, for Marcy and the others, they have more people to relieve boredom, and at the same time, it is safer. He even hopes to build a community by himself in the future, and take in the families of all the strong men under him. Now there are only Deadpool and Frank, what about the future? A concentrated residential area for superhumans is definitely the safest. It was raining lightly. Noah and Caroline stayed comfortably in the house. Cool or cool. This woman is really amazing, especially her mouth. Now he really has a sense of taste. 
as the sky gradually darkened. Noah suddenly felt a little silence around him, standing at the window, looking out at the deserted street. Then look around to the corners where people can hide. Although there was nothing abnormal, Noah always felt that someone was staring at him. In fact, since the battle against the Iron Overlord, there has been no one watching around. Even surveillance is done from a long distance. Because Noah has already given a warning, and those who ignore the warning later are the enemy. After some people disappeared inexplicably, all forces chose to let go. Even S.H.I.E.L.D. didn't get it right. Although the last time I saw Coulson, the other party didn't show it. But Noah estimated that the S.H.I.E.L.D. is near his home, and there are also dead people. It's just that Noah doesn't know who it is. It's too quiet tonight. It was so quiet that it seemed that there were a group of wild beasts around. He didn't know that a block away, many people who wanted to enter the block were stopped. Especially in the residences within one kilometer of Noah's house, there was almost no one there, and they were dismissed early. Even, outside the Clinton police station at this time. There are also hundreds of strong men with unknown intentions walking back and forth. It seems that they are just strolling around, but the waists of these people are all bulging. When George Stacy found out about this situation, he immediately wanted to report it and go out to investigate. As a result, several police officers stopped him for various reasons. He tried to make a wired phone call, but couldn't get through at all. This weird situation made him understand. Hell's Kitchen, I'm afraid something big is going to happen. He is not stupid. This is the strength that the entire Hell's Kitchen gang can only have together. But he couldn't figure out why these gangsters did this. Even Hell's Kitchen is part of New York. In doing so, they made a big taboo. After the matter has passed, those gangsters must pay a lot to settle what they did tonight. Does it worth? And who can make so many gangsters attack at the same time? The more he thought about it, the less George Stacy dared to act. Because he knew that since the other party had reached this point, he would never mind letting a disobedient police chief disappear quietly. As for monitoring, I'm afraid all the surveillance in the police station tonight is broken. So he just chatted with those few people, and he didn't seem to be in a hurry. Only some faint sweat appeared on his forehead, proving his uneasiness. The few police officers who stopped him naturally noticed it too. They looked at each other and nodded secretly, as long as they were obedient. After all, they don't want to really attack their immediate boss. Countless people have noticed the abnormality in Hell's Kitchen tonight, and all these people can't wait to get into the dirt. This is what the gangsters are declaring. Declare that Hell's Kitchen is still their Hell's Kitchen. It won't change because of anyone's presence. At this time, Hell's Kitchen is full of two words, that is fear. At this moment, Jin Bin's expression was indifferent. Sometimes, Giving and harvesting cannot be evaluated by material things. For all of today's events, all the top gangsters have used their connections and cultivated their forces for many years. Just to kill a Noah Allen. This is naturally a loss-making business. How about adding an announcement to the whole of Hell's Kitchen? Well worth it. He has absolute self-confidence, and he even does not hesitate to stand up in person to lead this emperor's action. After tonight, he will use this to become the true king of Hell's Kitchen. Dark night. The pattering rain made the deserted streets even more gloomy. Suddenly there was a scream. Noah looked over abruptly. Quietly, Caroline heard the voice too. Boss, something went wrong. Noah nodded. Well, the good show I've been waiting for for a long time is finally about to begin. Noah's calm made Caroline's worries disappear quickly, and she looked at the boss with admiration. Noah, on the other hand, silently looked at the street outside. Immediately afterwards, there was another scream. But still, it was as if these screams were just someone trying to scare him. It's just that Noah knows that this is impossible. This is his home, and it even has defenses far beyond the company. Here, he left a large number of biological weapons manufactured by the system and directly controlled by him. These details will remove all malicious targets except for the occasional flesh and blood that allowed him to judge how many people had been killed, most of the time, he didn't even know when someone died. Perhaps the flesh and blood that turned into his cell source also belonged to a passing drunk or a gangster. Noah didn't care, because he is not a nice person. But today, two consecutive screams came from different places, which is enough to explain everything. 
communicating with the fighting wolves scattered around, Noah silently understood the situation. The intelligence of the weapons of these creatures is very low, but the basic information can still be conveyed. For example, there is news that the hidden person is approaching. Ninja, Noah immediately thought of this possibility. If it weren't for Do Lang's amazing sense of smell, I'm afraid it really wouldn't be able to stop the ninja from sneaking in. The screams still sounded from time to time, and every scream meant a person died. In just a few minutes, the screams have been remembered more than ten times. But correspondingly, he also sensed that some fighting wolves had disappeared from his control. As for the so-called disappearance, there is only one possibility, and that is death. Obviously, the other party was pulling out the fighting wolf sentry that he had set up. No one passed by for a long time, even though there were so many screams, there was no response, as if it was a dead city. And the opponent's orderly removal of the sentry posts, all of which point to a possibility. Great hand, Noah couldn't help sighing, knowing that his home is the place with the strongest defense, he dared to choose to attack here, and it was clear that he wanted to deal with him head on. How many people came from the other side? How could he have such confidence? Just as he was sighing, a cold wind suddenly hit. With lightning speed, it slid towards his neck. Noah quickly dodged, and then blocked it with his arm. After hearing a soft shout, Caroline kicked it out. With a bang, a person was kicked and hit the wall. Boss, how are you doing? Noah touched his arm, where blood flowed out. So close, it's okay. While speaking, he also reacted. The house has been invaded, just, when did this happen? But it was too late to think about these. He pulled out his gun, killed the man with one shot, and then looked around vigilantly to avoid being assassinated again. On the floor, puddles of water stretched all the way from the edge of the window. Noah suddenly reacted. It's rain. The rain masked the smell. It almost made the most powerful nose of the fighting wolf useless. It seems that the other party chose to do it today is not a coincidence. No wonder the fighting wolf who is good at street fighting has such little results. Noah blinked a few times, then closed his eyes directly, controlling something with his thoughts. The next moment, several surrounding doors opened simultaneously. Several tyrants walked out of it with heavy steps. It's just that these tyrants carry an oppressive force far exceeding the tyrants who have shown up before. While taller than the previous prototype tyrants, they didn't carry any weapons. But this is not the reason why they are not as good as trial tyrants. It can even be said that this is where these tyrants are terrifying. They are kings of melee, tyrants of murder. It is an advanced product of ordinary tyrants. It can even be said that it is already a mature biological weapon, but it is a pity that its controllability is mediocre. Under the current laboratory conditions, it is impossible to make it at all. But under the system, this is not a problem, he has already directly created these big guys through the system. For such a long time, the background he has accumulated is enough to make any enemy despair. Go ahead and slaughter every enemy you see, Noah said softly. The next moment, several T-103 tyrants took heavy steps and began to spread out. After a few steps, one of the T-103s exploded suddenly. The terrifying power made him jump out in an instant. Suddenly, he grabbed at the shadow with one hand. A ninja was directly grabbed by the head, and the ninja looked at the giant hand that grabbed his head in horror. The next moment, the T-103 tyrant squeezed hard. Boom. Flesh, mixed with rain. Bloody and scary. After doing all this, the T-103 tyrant began to walk slowly again. After that, every few steps, there will be at least one eruption, and there is only one result of the eruption, that is, at least one ninja is killed. Several T-103 tyrants moved forward bit by bit. This situation made the faces of several gangsters who were observing in the dark look gloomy. Especially Madame Gao. These slaughtered ninjas are all her subordinates. Jin Bing said, It's a good thing I didn't underestimate Noah Allen, otherwise, there might really be more trouble. Then said lightly, Go, kill these big guys. As he spoke, there was someone behind him immediately. These monsters seem terrifying, but they don't believe that the other party can withstand the rockets. This time, they prepared many heavy weapons. How many tyrants? Even if it looks different from the previous tyrants, it doesn't make any sense. Soon, boom, there was an explosion. 
The rocket exploded on one of the T-103 tyrants. The horrible explosion blew up the tyrant until its body was broken. It works, let's blow it up. An excited voice came. All T-103 tyrant eyes are on the past. Suddenly, a T-103 tyrant roared violently, the muscles all over his body suddenly swelled, and his hands turned into huge sharp claws. Before the people inside could react, the T-103 tyrant who had entered the awakened state had jumped up to the second floor where the voice came from. There was a click, the giant claws slid across, the wooden wall was torn apart, and the T-103 tyrant rushed in. Almost at the same time, rockets were fired in several other places. They were terrified, but they also noticed the wounded tyrant. This example lets them know that tyrants are not invincible. One of them fired a rocket. He thought he could make a contribution here, but then he opened his eyes wide and muttered something to himself. The T-103 tyrant he aimed at actually slapped the rocket away with one hand. The blast didn't affect him much at all. Then it's gone and then. This move has angered the T-103 tyrant. He can only usher in the fate of death. In the end, among the seven or eight RPGs, only one tyrant was seriously injured and two tyrants were slightly injured. From a distance, Noah watched this scene. The performance of the T-103 tyrant is really good. Although the prototype tyrant has been modified by using the system, the initial form, even with weapons, is still a lot worse. However, how long are you going to delay? Noah stared at the dark distance, is that the only way to make these gangsters so confident? The next moment, a mass of black heads came slowly from all the streets, mighty and mighty. Even in the night, Noah could see the crowds with his eyes. In the direction facing the T-103 tyrant, a few gangsters were at the forefront. Jin Bin had a cigarette in his mouth and held his special cane in one hand. He was a little surprised that Noah was so difficult. But there was no fear on his face. Here, their number exceeds a thousand. Tyrant, hey, get rid of this trash. Follow Jin and give an order. Countless ammunition poured towards several tyrants. At the same time, all kinds of heavy weapons are also merciless. The rockets are launched as if they don't want money. Under the cover of this kind of firepower, even a tyrant cannot show his might. The tyrant began to charge almost at the same time, with huge terrifying claws, terrifying explosive power and speed. It made some gang leaders a little afraid. They can clearly see how the tyrant killed people. But Jin didn't move, Mrs. Gao didn't move, and the Russian brothers didn't move. The Russian brothers were even a little excited. The killing of a tyrant is too in line with their aesthetics. This is the aesthetics of violent killing. Even the two brothers wanted to go up and touch the tyrant. It's just that they also know that although they are physically strong, facing this kind of monster, going up is just looking for death. Soon, the three injured T-103 tyrants fell to the ground under the pouring firepower. The remaining two are obviously just a matter of time. Jin sneered. In Hell's Kitchen, the mob rules. Even if heavy weapons are used, as long as the scene is dealt with afterwards, it can be fooled at will. After all, the entire area here is blocked. Noah Allen's biological weapon is indeed powerful, but in this case, it's just trash. However, he obviously underestimated the danger of the T-103 tyrant. In an instant, two T-103 tyrants had rushed into the crowd. Heavy weapons lose the conditions to function. Many people gritted their teeth and picked up the machetes. At the same time, Mrs. Gao also nodded at the ninjas behind her. The next moment, a large number of ninjas rushed towards the T-103 tyrant. At this time, they ninjas are the best way to deal with the T-103 tyrant. But then Madame Gao frowned. Her subordinates couldn't even face each other. At this time, the two T-103 tyrants are like trapped beasts, dangerous and terrifying. The sharp claws kept harvesting life. Jin snorted softly. Waste, his eyes began to fill with killing intent. In the next moment, Jin, who had already exercised his muscles to his face, exploded directly. Under the action of the muscle explosion, his body swelled around visible to the naked eye, and then he rushed directly towards one of the T-103 tyrants. The T-103 tyrant has a sense of fighting, so he reacted immediately. The huge sharp claws grabbed Jin, who was obviously more threatening. Jin Bin's face was cold, and he didn't dodge at all. Clang. Boom. 
There was a crisp sound and a muffled sound. The former is the sound of sharp claws and Jinpin's special cane touching, while the latter is the muffled sound that is transmitted to the ground due to the reaction force of the two. The next moment, Jinbin let out a roar. Boom, the terrifying tyrant was actually lifted directly. This scene directly stimulated Noah who was watching the battle. Others don't know, but does he know what data the T-103 tyrant is? This is the real superhuman level. Even the trial tyrant has no resistance in front of the T-103 tyrant. Gold isn't genetically modified, how can it be? Is it a genetic mutation? But then, a bit of fire appeared in his eyes. Genetic mutations are better. If gold is used as a body, the strength of the tyrant may be greatly improved. But now, Jin Bing's identity has been confirmed, and the strength of these gangsters has been confirmed. It's time to finish too. These five T-103 tyrants were just used by him to test the gangsters. After all, he needs to determine the location of Jin Bing himself. You stay here and close your eyes from now on until I make you open them. Noah said to Caroline. Caroline nodded, then closed her eyes tightly obediently. She didn't want to know what the boss was going to do, she only knew that the boss was going to do something. As for danger, she didn't think about it. Caroline's thinking is actually a bit pathological. But Noah, as the person involved, actually felt that this feeling was very comfortable. No one dislikes obedient women, especially those who only listen to him. Compared to those female stars he experienced recently, um, much more pleasant, both physically and psychologically. It's a pity that it still can't reach the demeanor of Tony Stark. Noah stood in front of the house. At some point, a large number of fighting wolves from all over the place and several tyrants had already protected him. In addition, there are a large number of other organisms transformed with T-virus. The huge amount makes one wonder where these things were hidden before. In the sky, flocks of red-eyed ravens uttered rough hoarse sounds of, wow wow. It's like saying death especially in the dark night, it looks scary. T-virus can be exploited in many ways. It's just that some things are not suitable for taking out, and can only exist as trump cards that no one knows about. Otherwise, if he exceeds the bottom line of those high-level executives who support him, then he will encounter much more trouble than now. As for now, he unabashedly showed all the achievements of the T-virus without any worries in his heart. Because, no one can get out alive today. Many gang bosses immediately realized that something was wrong. Fortunately, Jin Bing has completely solved the remaining two tyrants. Pulling the cane from the head of AT-103 tyrant, Jin then pulled a man's sleeve and wiped the cane. The unlucky ones who were caught didn't dare to say a word. Even if he is not Jin Bing's younger brother, Jin Bing's performance just now is really terrible. Jin Bing also noticed the growing shadow. Shoot the spotlight and see what Noah Allen has prepared. Following his words, someone immediately turned on the long-range spotlights that had been prepared long ago. They have already cut off the regular electricity in this block. A dozen lights. At least a hundred people visibly trembled at the same time. Then, what kind of monsters are those? Someone panicked. Mrs. Gao said dissatisfiedly. What are you panicking about? They're nothing more than biological weapons. She was very dissatisfied with the subordinates of her allies. Unlike her ninjas, no one has even made a sound so far. It's just that she didn't notice that the ninjas under her did not make a sound, but many ninjas had pale lips. Too much. Tyrants are powerful, but there are only a few. They have a numerical crushing advantage, and at this time, the pressure is not enough. But, the number of those monsters is simply dense. Especially the moment when the long-range spotlight hits the sky. They obviously noticed that those were the masters of the devil's voices ringing in their ears, ravens overwhelming the sky. Jin Bing and the others also had serious expressions on their faces. They seemed to have underestimated Noah Allen again. Things are a little troublesome. Mrs. Gao coughed a little bit, and her calm voice became a little heavy. Jin Bing frowned. With so many biological weapons, even if they were obviously inferior, it still made him feel tricky, but he could only open his mouth and say. It doesn't matter, kill Noah Allen, the other is not a problem. Madame Gao nodded. At this moment, suddenly the ground began to tremble. Everyone's expression changed. Accident, another accident. Why are there so many accidents today? 
The next moment, a piece of land suddenly collapsed, revealing a big hole. Now, the second, the third. In an instant, seven or eight bottomless black holes appeared around them. Inside, hissing roars continued. Anxiety completely surrounded everyone. Noah chuckled lightly. Come on, let the world see your terror. Not one left. Quote, the moment Noah spoke, roar, countless howls of different shapes sounded. There were biochemical beasts beside Noah, and there were muffled noises from the cave. A large number of different roars mixed together, and suddenly became extremely terrifying. Even the people far outside the blockade heard the strange movement, and they were all terrified. These sounds cannot be heard by humans. Those gangster boys who blocked the nearby blocks were even more uneasy, not knowing what happened. The sound of gunfire before was too intense. Even though they were some distance away from the blockade, they could still hear such a loud voice clearly. Especially the sound of heavy weapons such as rockets, roaring continuously. Such a fierce battle has long exceeded their expectations. Some people continued to block it honestly, but there were also some people who wanted to go in quietly to learn about the situation of the battle. It's just that those guys who thought they were smart, had their throats bitten off by the long-prepared fighting wolf not long after entering. Blockade, never more than one layer. The gang wanted to hide the firepower they used, so why did Noah not want to hide his background? So he would like to thank the gang for blocking him, which saved him a lot of trouble. Otherwise, he wouldn't dare to release everything about himself so recklessly. The rain is getting heavier. Roar, the endless sea of biochemical beasts, even if they just exist, is already enough oppressive force, not to mention these undead monsters are still charging non-stop. Everyone in the gang is shooting like hell. They don't even bother to see what's ahead. Because there are too many enemies. So much that they don't even need to see anything. Various T-virus infected biochemical beasts on land roared, and biochemical ravens hovering in the sky also rushed down one after another, desperately pecking at these resisting gangsters. The biochemical beasts here are all bred by Noah's system and are under his control. So he didn't even remove the infectivity of these biochemical beasts. These people have no idea that the moment they are bitten, they are doomed to die. Jin Bin kept waving his cane, killing ravens one after another. No creature can come within half a meter of him. But it won't work like this. He was very clear, but he was powerless to do anything right now, and could only use the corpses of these biochemical beasts to vent his anger. Even this is just the beginning. Just when everyone was attacking crazily. A strange creature with distinct water chestnuts jumped out of a pothole. As soon as the creature came out, it glanced around, and then began to run quickly, rushing towards the crowd. Afterwards, exactly the same as it was, a steady stream of terrifying creatures began to jump out of several potholes, like an ant colony, quickly and efficiently. Even the army of biochemical beasts looked like a motley crew. Finally, one of them crossed the line of defense and came into the crowd. The sharp forelimb pierced down, directly piercing a person's chest. Immediately, someone around shot back. But the vitality of this creature is extremely tenacious, and it didn't finally fall to the ground until it slaughtered several people. Before the surviving people around could relax and take a breath, what they saw around them made them understand that this was not the end, but just the beginning. The monsters that came out of those pits had already formed a large army, and the number even surpassed the biochemical beasts that attacked them very quickly. The defense line has collapsed. Despair hangs over everyone's heart. Noah watched this scene expressionlessly. Zerg, this is a very interesting group of life. When he got the Zerg gene back then, what he got was just the basic larval gene. This gene is classified as level 1 in the system. The division of the system will not take into account the possibility of the evolution of the Zerg, just like the black light virus. But in Noah's eyes, the larvae of the Zerg are second only to the T-virus in value. The reason why it is not as good as the T-virus is only because the Zerg cannot be easily taken out, and it cannot strengthen humans, so it can only exist as a strategic weapon. But in terms of horror, in his opinion, the horror of the Zerg is definitely higher than that of the T-virus. In just a few months, he has turned his underground into the most dangerous nest of Zerg. The Zerg that jumped out now were named by him as guards. As the name suggests, these are the warriors of the swarm. Their characteristic is, insect sea tactics, countless zergs are like ocean tides. 
In addition, a large number of biochemical beasts are mixed in. A large number of ravens hovered in the air. In addition, the black corpse-eating insects also turned into life harvesters without knowing when. The screams kept ringing. Every time a person dies, it will add a bit of fear to those who are still alive. Jin Bing and other gang leaders all turned pale. The thousands of people here are all their elites. But at this time, these elites are being slaughtered continuously. Most critically, they don't even know how they left. Suddenly, Jin Bin roared angrily. Rush over and kill Noah Allen, otherwise no one will survive. Even though he is big and big, he is very smart. He has enough confidence in his own strength. Even in this kind of crisis, he didn't feel that he had reached a desperate situation. And as long as Noah Allen is around, it will be hard for them to leave. Only by killing Noah Allen can the disadvantaged situation be changed. Others also reacted. Kill, whether passive or active, everyone is coerced forward. Jin Bing took the lead, and Mrs. Gao drew out her staff and sword, each time she stabbed a guard to death with precision. The two Russian brothers are not to be outdone. But their numbers, under the attack of Zerg guards and biochemical beasts, seemed very small. A mountain of corpses and a sea of insects. This is definitely the worst fight these gangsters have ever experienced. Noah stood quietly behind the protection of the two T-103 tyrants, watching this scene. He saw the mad killing intent in Jin Bing's eyes. In response, Noah specially sent several tyrants in action to face Jin and surround him. Underworld Emperor, a fighter who surpasses the limits of the human body. That being the case, let me see your limit. Then, kill you again. Become the cornerstone of my tyrant's evolution. The shock of the guards is not without effect. Soon the Russian brothers were torn to pieces by the guards. Even to the point of death, they couldn't understand how they could put their own lives in it when it was just a very ordinary act of standing up. On the contrary, Mrs. Gao seemed to be able to do a job with ease. This made Noah look at him more. The keel is also something he is very interested in. I just don't know if the genes in Mrs. Gao's body have changed due to the transformation of the keel. Let's kill her first. No's thoughts flashed. Afterwards, several hairless creatures with exposed brains and sharp claws crawled out of the roof. Liquor. As a killing weapon, although the liquor looks huge, it moves quietly. After receiving No's order, a liquor started to move. Then, climb along the wall directly towards the front of the battle. When he came near Mrs. Gao, he landed behind Mrs. Gao after a few vertical leaps. Mrs. Gao only felt a gust of cool wind behind her, and before she could turn around, the sharp claws had pierced her chest. She looked at the sharp claws protruding from her chest in disbelief, without the fear of imminent death, but with a gloomy expression. Careless, the liquor slowly drew out its claws, judging something with its keen hearing. Around, many people were instantly terrified and their heartbeats accelerated. But they don't know that this rapid heartbeat is the best temptation for liquors. Liquors have no vision, no sense of smell, but extremely keen hearing. Terrible hearing, allowing them to hear walking, running, and even breathing in heartbeat. The next moment, the liquor found the target, which was the person with the fastest heartbeat nearby. Because of their keen sense of hearing, they are good at recognizing fear, and they have some characteristics of bullying and fearing toughness. These terrifying creatures know how to cooperate and how to defeat the enemy more effectively. Noah can force them to attack. But it's not necessary. Bullying doesn't make them weaker. Knowing that fear is not necessarily a bad thing. On the surrounding walls, some liquors drilled out, without silence, they directly joined the battle. The massacre continued. Not long after, in the team of thousands of people, only 20 or 30 people were dead. Moreover, these 20 or 30 people were also scarred, their eyes were full of despair, and more than one person had a mental breakdown. Thousands of people. How many minutes? He was killed cleanly. Only Jin Bing is still full of fighting spirit. Could this be an ordinary person? That would be hell. Noah couldn't help thinking. A few tyrants didn't shred Jin and didn't say anything, and Jin destroyed one of them. Even Captain America, who has been injected with super serum, may not be able to compare with Jin Bin at this time in terms of strength. Noah was even a little curious about how Jin Bing did it. Another dozen seconds. In the arena, only Jin Bing was left standing alone. In addition, there are dead bodies everywhere. Countless biochemical beasts and zerg surrounded Jin alone. 
several T-103 tyrants turned into awakened forms and attacked frantically. As for Jin Bing's chest, there was a 30-centimeter cut that almost spanned his entire chest. But there was no change on his face. Watching this scene, Noah suddenly felt like the end of the line. Jin Bing, after all, is also a mafia emperor. Perhaps gangsters are not allowed to appear in this Marvel world. But being able to stand at the pinnacle of the entire underworld shows how powerful Jin Bing is. Stepping on the mountain of corpses and the sea of blood, Noah walked towards the struggling Jin Bin. Like a king, to witness the end of another king. Click. Kim then punched a liquor in the head that was about to attack. The liquor's head was blown off immediately. Noah shook his head helplessly. These liquors are still a bit off. Maybe I can get out the giant liquor that appeared in the movie. That kind of terrifying body shape has a good deterrent effect. With that in mind, Noah asked. Do you regret it? If you don't trouble me, everything today may not happen. Jin Bing's eyes were cold and flickering, but he didn't speak. He hasn't given up yet. As long as Noah Allen is killed, he still has a chance. These monsters seemed terrifying, but if no one controlled them, they might not be able to trap him. Although I don't know how Noah Allen did it, but he has been observing for a long time. These monsters are all controlled by Noah Allen alone. So, find a chance and kill him. His cane is not just a simple melee weapon. Seeing Noah getting closer and closer, Jin Bing had already begun to look forward to it, but his face remained stern. But at this moment, Noah stopped. He didn't know much about Jin, but he knew his walking stick. He came here just to witness the end of the king. But he's just a businessman at heart. Adventure. There's nothing wrong with him. Jin didn't naturally know No's mentality at this time. Just a sinking heart. Noah Allen, do you know what you are doing now? If people know about it, what will happen? No's face remained unchanged, and he said. But no one will know, will they? With that said, Noah had a mocking look on his face. This is also thanks to your blockade. Otherwise, how could there be such a big scene today? Quote. Jin Bin was suddenly furious, and his muscular face was full of violent anger. You can't hide it. The government is not an idiot, sooner or later you will be exposed. Noah Aaron. Quote. Looking at Jin Bin who looked like an angry beast, Noah sneered. Jin Bin's behavior at this time is like a seasoned hunter, but he can't hide it from his prey, who already knows all the hunter's methods. Konoa still opened the mouth and said, Yeah, sooner or later it will be exposed. But then, I will no longer be afraid. All he needs is time. This world is dangerous, very dangerous. All kinds of superheroes, supervillains, aliens, and even the existence of Guyi, Odin, etc. can crush him with one finger. What's even more frightening is that he doesn't know if there are other dangers in this world. The existence of the Brotherhood has made him still unable to let go of it. Powerful enemies are not scary, only the unknown is the scariest. Therefore, Noah has already gone crazy. He seemed normal, but no one knew that his spirit was already on the verge of collapse. This tight string may break at any time. He wanted to know if Guyi had noticed his existence, and if he would kill him. No's eyes gradually filled with bloodshot eyes. Crazy thoughts flickered in his mind. If you want to kill him, so be it. Kill him, today, right now. He didn't want to worry about it anytime. Guyi suddenly came across the space, said, you shouldn't exist here, and then killed him like a joke. This is not the life he wants. So today, he created this big scene on purpose. Noah looked up at the sky, with a completely released madness in his eyes. You know it. You see it. Now, tell me your decision. Come on, kill me. Quote, he roared, and the rain fell on his face. He was crazy, opened his arms, quietly waiting for the power that could easily obliterate him to appear, and then took his life away. However, he didn't wait. It was as ridiculous as he was singing a crappy one-man show alone. Then, Noah smiled, laughing crazy, laughing wantonly. While coping with the tyrant's attack, Jin Bin looked at the lunatic in front of him. He's crazy, absolutely crazy. But there is no doubt that this is his best chance. Irritable, perhaps everyone who saw him thought of him in this way. But only his subordinates know how calm he is. Jin Bin broke out suddenly, and was scratched by the captured tyrant on his back, pointing his cane at Noah Allen. 
Shish, a silent beam of light directly pierced Noah Allen's heart. He aimed well. So, it's all over. Kim sneered. Crazy, never qualified to confront him. But at this moment, Noah Allen, who was supposed to fall to the ground with his face upside down, lowered his head slowly, staring at him coldly with bloodshot eyes. Then he noticed that the wound on the heart and mouth shot by the laser had disappeared without knowing when. Noah looked at Jin Bing. It seems that I won the bet. He said something that Kim didn't understand at all. Sorry, you're useless. Then Noah turned around slowly, never looking at Jin again. Behind him, the sea of infinite insects frantically rushed towards Jin. The tide is unstoppable. The same goes for bug swarms. Watching Jin Bin being gradually devoured by the swarm. Noah looked calm. Maybe he really is crazy. Think about it. How many people did he kill today? How many people have been killed in the past? But at this moment, there was no fluctuation in his heart. Is it because these people were basically not killed by him? Just self-deceiving nonsense. But he has already relaxed in his heart, because he has passed the Ancient One. For a long time, Ji Yu Yi was like a big mountain, weighing heavily on his heart. That one has a time gem, a terrifying existence that can see through the past and the future. Even if he didn't notice it before, he should have noticed now that he had just killed so many people. Perhaps it is because existence is reasonable. Or maybe it was because she judged that Noah would not destroy the earth. In short, Ji Yu Yi has already made a judgment. Then he will be at ease. The world has truly accepted him, and he has truly accepted the world. The sea of insects quickly disappeared on the ground. The endless biochemical beasts also dispersed. There was not a single corpse left on the ground, only some residual blood, which proved that a great war had taken place here before. Except for a few big holes in the ground, everything seems to have never appeared. And soon even these big holes were restored to level. He wasn't worried that someone would follow the remaining traces of the cave entrance. There are deep pits blasted by bullet marks everywhere, and there is no difference at all from the outside. It's useless even digging. The Zerg's lair is nearly a hundred meters deep underground. Besides, today this warning is enough. As long as Noah doesn't leave. Even if someone finds an abnormality, no one dares to conduct an investigation with great fanfare. So in order to ensure that there are no problems, he intends to continue to live here for a while. Disappeared with the sound of gunfire. Someone from the periphery finally started to try to enter. Noah didn't stop this time. Instead, all the fighting wolves were directly withdrawn to the vicinity of this block. Rua Wu's howling sound made the surroundings look terrifying. Some gangsters came over and saw the battlefield here, and how it looked empty. He ran away in horror, not even daring to stop to pick up the shoes after they ran away. Although he didn't see the corpse, he saw the blood and the big craters that were blown out. The rain that turned completely red is enough to prove what happened here. Then, members of other forces also approached. Even the brave ones wanted to get closer to check, but after hearing the low growls of fighting wolves around them, they all left in a sensible way. This night is destined to be remembered by the entire Hell's Kitchen. The name Noah Allen is destined to become a taboo for all gangsters. Early the next morning, George Stacy arrived at his home with two police officers. Noah looked at the bloodshot George Stacy, drinking coffee calmly. Director Stacy, what's the matter here early in the morning? George Stacy's face was gloomy, he slapped the table, and said angrily. You are crazy, what did you do yesterday? Noah raised his eyebrows. Don't you already know? Noah said lightly, and looked at George Stacy as he spoke, as if he was surprised that he asked the question knowingly. George Stacy ignored Noah's eyes and continued to question. Much of Hell's kitchen was locked down yesterday. Seven gangs united to surround here, you tell me where they all went. And Wilson Fix, do you know what trouble it would be if he died, a well-known philanthropist? And do you know how messy Hell's Kitchen will be if several big gangs disappear at the same time? Quote. Noah sneered and said, You said it all, they surrounded my house, but I didn't surround them. How could I possibly know what happened to them? What's more? Whether Hell's Kitchen is messy or not is none of my business. Rather, everything now should be a good thing for you. During your tenure, you solved so many large-scale gangs that your predecessors could not solve. This is a great credit, and it should be enough for you to be promoted. Quote. 
Hearing the calm Noah, George Stacy suddenly felt a little powerless. That's right, as long as Noah Allen agrees, he can give credit for this matter. At that time, no matter how chaotic the future is here, he can leave this place early. However, do you want to compromise? Or for those dregs who are likely to be dead, against people like Noah Allen? After just a moment, George Stacy sighed. There is really nothing to hesitate about this question. You wouldn't do anything that would endanger civilians, would you? Even though he knew that his question was weak, he still asked it. Noah looked at him strangely. Your question is really interesting. I'm a businessman, not a murderer. After finishing speaking, Noah saw off the guests directly. For the father of Spider-Man's girlfriend, he had some interest in it, but now he doesn't have a cold. Not to mention him, even if Spider-Man himself appeared here, he would not take him seriously. Sent George Stacy away. Noah was thinking about what he had gained this time. Although he has accepted the transformation of the black light virus, it does not mean that he will let it develop on its own. It can even be said that follow-up research is the most important thing. It is very important to formulate a suitable evolutionary route and determine the capabilities and limits of the black light virus, or its hazards. But this is the long-term goal. Noah temporarily removed the research project of the black light virus, and then replaced it with the Jinbin gene. Looking at the brief analysis data given by the system, Noah frowned slightly. Sure enough, Jin Bing's gene was mutated, and it was an extremely dangerous mutation. Jin Bing was definitely lucky to survive. Although the improvement is great, the danger of this mutation is uncontrollable and difficult to improve. That is to say, although he can use gold and become the body of the tyrant. But the success rate will be relatively low. Of course, this is not a problem. The big deal is to carry out large-scale cultivation and then transform the successful individuals, which is nothing more than an increase in cost. Then there is Mrs. Gao. He is very interested in Mrs. Gao's gene, after all, it may have something to do with the keel. After checking the basic research information, Noah felt very satisfied. There is a special gene in Mrs. Gao's cells. Although it does not help to improve combat power, it is of great research value. Even Mrs. Gao who has undergone keel transformation is like this, what about the keel? Noah narrowed his eyes slightly. Maybe you can look for it if you have a chance, it may contain the secret of eternal life. If a drug that prolongs life can be researched, I am afraid that those high-level government officials will go crazy for it. After all, not many people can refuse the temptation of eternal life. Especially those big shots whose power has reached its peak. I took stock of my harvest, and then planned the future development route. Noah suddenly felt that the future was bright. I am a businessman. Maybe it's time to think about making money. During this period of time, he has almost spent all the money he earned, and even borrowed a sum of money from the bank to barely make ends meet. Or, give the military some sweetness. It should be good to use the trial tyrant. It's time to bring out the mass-produced and elite models. There are no big troubles, but there are many small troubles. This is No's current state. The government is not stupid. He came here every now and then to investigate, which caused him a lot of trouble. A few days later, Tony Stark arrived in his iron suit. Originally, Noah was still thinking about whether he gave himself a Red Queen, but when he landed, he heard a roar. Tony Stark scowled, You are crazy, do you know what you have done? Thousands of people disappeared at the same time, don't tell me you did it all. Do you know how much trouble this is? Quote, it's no surprise that Tony Stark knows what he's doing. People in other places may not be very clear about this matter, but the whole Hell's Kitchen is full of rumors, and various speculations are everywhere. And it's hard to tell if Tony Stark has a bad taste for wiretapping. Everything that came out of him was kept through the back door. As far as he knows, there are many government departments that use smart devices produced by Stark Industries. For as long as Tony Stark wanted to, these were his eyeliners. I did. Noah admitted it directly. This kind of thing has nothing to refute. If you can't hide it, it's better not to hide it. Or so he's not worried about Tony Stark snitching. At this time, Tony Stark is not the future leader of the Avengers. In terms of killing, the terrorists he killed may not be much less than himself. Seeing Noah admit it so quickly, Tony Stark's expression froze. Noah simply exceeded his expectations. 
otherwise, he would react quickly, but he was not angry, but just said. You are too cold-blooded, there are thousands of people. Also, with so many dead, you're going to be in a lot of trouble going forward. Behind those gangsters, in fact, they all have their own forces. Otherwise, they wouldn't be so arrogant. Even I didn't have a clear understanding of the specific situation in Hell's Kitchen, so I didn't dare to intervene easily. Now that the gangsters are gone, Hell's Kitchen must be in chaos. Why? Tony Stark had a look of helplessness on his face. With his intelligence network, how could he not know the situation just outside his house? It's just that every place has its own rules. After he made a judgment, he made a judgment. It's the best situation to not move. Noah was silent for a while, and then said, I am very clear about what you said, but these gangsters violated my bottom line. Not only did they want to do something to me, but they also investigated my neighborhood for a long time. This is my bottom line. Even if Hell's Kitchen becomes chaotic because of this, I will not allow those people to violate anyone related to me. Quote. No's voice was cold. His hidden biochemical beasts are everywhere around here. As long as he enters the people who are a few kilometers around, no one can escape his sight. This is one of the reasons why he is so murderous. Family is the bottom line. Even if the other party just shows a little bit of bad intentions. Want to touch my family? Kill. So what if the killing is turned upside down? He wants everyone to know that there is still a chance of fighting against me. If you want to touch my family, there is only one result, death. Not only are they themselves going to die, but those who are related to them are also going to die. Kill to make all known and unknown enemies terrified. Let them understand that it is best never to touch his loved ones until he is dead. All of this is just the beginning. Tony Stark saw the killing intent in his eyes and frowned, he felt something was wrong. It's just that Noah saved him more than once after all. So although I was a little uneasy, I still didn't speak to persuade. I just thought in my heart, if Noah really went to the point of no return, then I should pull him out. Well, this is your problem, the Red Queen has brought it here for you. With that said, Tony Stark took out a suitcase and said, here is the core main program of the Red Queen, and you can usually load her subroutines, which are more portable. Of course, I am not responsible for the subsequent maintenance. Quote. No's eyes brightened slightly. It's finally here. The final piece of the hive puzzle has been completed. After getting the red, Noah was in a good mood, and even invited Tony Stark to have dinner at home as a reward. Of course, lunch is takeaway. He's not very good at cooking. As a secretary, Caroline has a lot of things to do, so she can only have an affair with him occasionally. Otherwise, Noah would still have some headaches. He doesn't want to be tied up by a woman, isn't the colorful world outside fragrant. Too bad Tony Stark wasn't tempted by that. He bluntly said that he has already made appointments with two young models. Noah chuckled, although he has also hooked up with a few, but they are all carefully selected, unlike a humanoid self-propelled gun like Tony Stark, as long as it looks good. With disdain for each other in their hearts, the two separated. At this time in Hell's Kitchen, there was no pedestrian on the road at all, and it looked very depressed. Noah drove all the way to the company at a high speed, and then found Ivan Vanke. Dr. Ivan, this is the artificial intelligence program I got from Tony Stark. Please take a look for me, I don't want to be left behind by that guy. Quote. Ivan Vanke was excited when he heard this. This is an opportunity to get to know Tony Stark up close, so he can take it all in. Of course, Noah did not bet everything on Ivan Vanke. Instead, they paid a high price and invited several top hackers. The so-called backdoor is actually a system loophole. The hacker's ability, among other things, is to find these loopholes and then invade. One of the little girls caught No's attention. That little girl was only 14 years old. Naturally, those who can be invited by Orlando cannot be mediocre. And her name is Sky. Hearing this name, Noah knew that this was a talent, and he was already thinking about how to keep him. Several people jointly investigated for three days, and finally found a back door left by Tony Stark. Knowing this result, Noah was not surprised. That's what Tony Stark does. At the same time, he also felt that this Red Queen should be safe. The back door cannot be left casually. Once discovered, it will be a death feud. 
Moreover, Tony Stark is extremely confident in himself, and it is unlikely that he will think about keeping another hand. However, Noah was still worried and asked them to continue the investigation. When they check here, General Ross attacked the Hulk again. With the help of Fighting Wolf, this time, the plot did not develop like the original. Although Bruce Banner still has the idea of meeting Mr. Lan. But unfortunately, his whereabouts failed to escape the monitoring of General Ross. As soon as he entered the city, General Ross mobilized the Fighting Wolves to conduct a large-scale search. In just three days, the military has implemented two arrest plans. It's a pity that Hulk escapes every time. The second time, even the tyrant has been dispatched. In order to capture the Hulk, General Ross directly used his own rights to call the five tyrants. Unfortunately, at the beginning, the tyrant could barely resist it. But as Hulk started to get angry, what I tyrant was quickly torn apart. Is tyrant too bad? No, General Ross is very clear that the tyrant has a solid record, but the Hulk is too strong. Not enough, these are far from enough. After another defeat, General Ross was furious. He knew that Bruce Banner couldn't stay here forever. Especially the second tyrant's dispatch had already made him feel the crisis. He probably only has one last chance. After hesitating for a long time, he remembered what happened in Hell's Kitchen a few days ago. The disappearance of thousands of people naturally came into the sight of the military. It just so happens that the military has a fairly reasonable guess. That is, in the hands of Noah Allen, there are better things. At this moment, General Ross has only one thought, no matter what it is, buy it. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.